जाइए सिग्नेचर करिए और कर लीजिए प्लीज टेक योर सीट वेलकम टू प्रगति माई सेल्फ माजिद हुसैन आई एम सेटिंग द क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड डूइंग द इवेल्युएशन ऑल्सो एंड इन प्रगति there is only one person who is doing all the activities re relating to geography so i welcome you because you came with great expectations this year the result of geography was very good in my opinion most of the students secure good marks 270 270 plus and these days 270 is not a bad score i was just meeting a boy in the office he told me he was my test series student last year he got 286 in geography but still he was not invited for the interview simply because he got less marks in sci or gs paper 2 so geography these days is a very evergreen type of subjects it helps you in the pt it helps you in gs paper 1 and paper 3 and itself if you are writing the answer according to the wishes of the paper setters and the geography professors you are bound to get good good marks now i have gone through your answers answer books and the answer books have been classified under two categories those who appeared in the test on the scheduled date here in this room secondly some of you have taken your answer sheet to your residence to your study rooms and submitted your answers from your from your, your residence or from your houses invariably all those who submitted the answer sheet later they got better marks so it is a reflection i was very happy because i have to give the marks the marks are given on the written material and if you have written the correct answer the teacher is bound to give you uh, i mean the appropriate marks but the problem is you should be honest to yourself because at least one short note was attempted by many of you who submitted the answer sheet from houses that answer is correct answer anybody who appeared in the class they skipped the short note they got zero everybody who attempted submitted the answer sheet from homes their answer is correct and they got good marks so this is actually befooling to self upsc as you know and i often talk in my class upsc conduct the examination to fail you university and engineering colleges even the iits they conduct the examination to pass you this is a difference so if they are going to fail you then you have to snatch the marks in the universities engineering colleges iits medical institutes we have direct relationship with the teacher we may or may not be doing anything but they were good marks if somebody is deserving 60% they give 70% if the candidate deserves 70% they may be giving 80% mere baap ka kya jata hai let this boy go out and if you have some new sense value creating some problem for the teacher you may be getting the highest this is the system of evaluation in the universities in the engineering college and medicine believe it or not because they don't teach but they give very good marks in the upsc there is cut throat competition and the upsc secretary who sits with the examiners all the time he reminds please read the answer carefully because the difference of only one mark may put a weak candidate above the cut line a better candidate below the cut line that's why all the professors even the non serious professors they go through the answer books they read your not only each line they read each word they read the spelling also is spelling is not important but if somebody is writing correct english another is writing his own style of english with own spellings not standard spelling 
the first boy will be getting an edge will be better he may be getting one mass more so this is the point which i want to impress i will hand over the result in a few minutes but let me tell you something what should be done and should not be done in the upsc examination the first point never do any cutting in your answer sheet cutting in upsc examination is a crime if you are doing cutting it means you please come here rohit if you are doing cutting it means you are confused and confused bureaucrats are not required are not needed to the by the government of india if you are confused yourself and you are selected you will be creating problems in your office you will be fighting with the seniors and is scolding the juniors the work will suffer so anybody who is doing cutting over writing that is not appreciated any average student can beat a better student if his presentation and neat and tidy this is one point believe it or not you will do according to your wishes if anybody is doing cutting over writing that is not appreciated by the examiners because other students are submitting their answer sheet neat and tidy and when the neat and tidy answer sheets comes i was going through anshul tiwari's answer sheet beautiful presentation but the content is weak i know each and every student what are the plus and minus and i have given the comments also on each question so please for this purpose try to prepare your own notes and read your own notes never go by the notes available in the market there may be bulky notes yes please come here there may be bulky notes available and somebody says sometimes sir i read 4 kg of geography notes 4 kilo notes padhe hain and out of 600 at that time the boy said i got got 220 is there a re relationship between the weight of the notes and the marks secured by a candidate there is no relationship a boy who or a candidate who go who reads only 200 grams may beat the student who is reading 5 kg so collection of these market notes is not desirable try to consult the standard literature still you have the time at least 20 short notes should be prepared by you one page each on important topics and we know what are the important important topics which may be asked arrange the material as the geographers give the answer read this material and reproduce in the examination because these days in 180 minutes the examiner is asking you to write 18 or 19 question in optional geography maybe 20 questions in the gs paper it means the per question time available is only 10 minutes this is average and average does not explain the extremes so for a short note there may be only 7 minutes available per short note 7 into 5 may be 35 minutes should be devoted to this at the most it may go to 40 minutes there are 10 short notes in geography papers so you can imagine how so you can imagine how much time you have to devote then there are some question carrying 20 marks some questions carrying 15 marks they are lengthy question if there are questions like plate tectonics or a detailed question on tropical cyclone or tem temperate cyclone or the interior of the earth then it will take definitely more time we should finish a 20 marks question in about 18 minutes and a 15 marks question in 20, 12 or 13 minutes so apart from your study rationalization of time is very important virender you resist me sorry jaage aap intezam dijiye seats ka there may be some more students please sit down 
So, rationalization of time is very important and that is possible if you know the art of reducing the matter. Everybody can write 10 page on a comparative study of temperate and tropical cyclones. Because you know what is the origin of these cyclones, what are the characteristics of the cyclones, what are the weather conditions in cyclones, what are the tracks of the different cyclones. If it is tropical, what is the nomenclature of the tropical cyclone, then what is the social relevance or significance, how these cyclones affect the society. If there are two cyclones, temperate and tropical cyclone, both us as a short note, carrying only 10 mass, you will be in difficulties. I do not like the paper setter because these should have been 20 mass question or either of the two should have been 15 mass or 20 mass question, but you cannot challenge the examiner. Examiner is the master and he is not our relative. He has full power to ask any type of question. Once if you remember in GS paper, the continental drift was asked as early as 5 mass question. The book continental drift is about 300 pages, Wagner's theory. Wagner's theory was asked only 5 mass in short note in the uh, geography general studies paper. So how to reduce this knowledge that is required, you must develop that skill. How to reduce the big material in less number of words, less number of lines. Gagar me sagar samona hai that you have to do. Secondly, <coughs> your paper is checked by geography professor. I am talking about geography. Geography paper is checked by geography professors. There may be 20 or 24 examiners for the first paper, one set of examiners evaluating the first paper. There may be another set of 20 or 24 professors evaluating their second paper. So imagine these 24 plus 24 professors are trained in geography. They are senior. Most of them are retired or they are approaching retirement. Satya who a professor. If you are submitting an answer book with the cuttings, they will be irritated. They want to read, but you are not giving him a chance to read your answer. And those who do not apply the principle of judicious use of time, they may be writing comfortably in the first one hour. And in the end, they write with too fast a speed. They write with Rajdhani Express or Frontier Mail. Now the writing becomes distorted. It is not readable. I am telling from first hand experience. If the writing is not readable, if this is the condition, the examiner again will be annoyed. He will cut and he will give less than the mass you deserve. So from first line till last line of your paper, I mean the line which you are writing on the 180th minute, minute should be readable. This is possible if you did a rehearsal writing. Rehearsal writing at your room, one month before you start writing, if this is a question, I want to finish this in 20 minutes or 18 minutes, how to finish this? That is it. And it is possible if you do not read too much. If you are reading several books, if you are taking the notes of all the coaching centers in Rajen Nagar and Mukherjee Nagar, Zia Sarai, there may be many more centers also of coaching in Delhi itself, then it means you are in difficulties. Keep this point in mind, try to prepare your own notes from those notes also and the notes should not be very lengthy. And these notes which you are preparing should be Sanjeevani Bhuti, a structured answer with points. You can elaborate the points if there is a desire. Never go for the Jakhu Parvat, we need Sanjeevani Bhuti examiner want to have a structured answer with headings, with main points. If you follow this, you will be comfortable. You will be getting good marks with less efforts, with less knowledge. That is why Pargati is also providing notes. Because it is a demand from the side of the students, those who take their admission offline in Pargati, 
the demand nodes x switching center is giving, giving such bulky nodes we need nodes so our director also prepared the nodes you can read those nodes but i know my students some of my regular students are sitting they know what should be the model answer for each question which we teach in the class which we teach we know because the paper setter gives the model answer also this it is a solved paper setting a question paper of upsc is not a easy job many of the professor they refuse but the secretary all the time request sir this is a question of prestige and dignity and honor money is not the criteria set the question paper they persuade the examiners to go but in the university everybody accept the examinership because they give marks they never read the answer in the university the pattern is totally different so when the paper setter has submitted the model answer and the model answers are discussed one day before the evaluation is start in the upsc dhaulpur house all these answers are also discussed and finalized then the evaluation work is start so our answer should be close to the model answer what we are writing it should be close if it is a question on interior of the earth or inversion of temperature or land breeze and sea breeze small small notes they should be what the geography professor would have submitted everybody is not knowing in this market this market is a very strange market because they are civil engineers teaching geography failed four times botanist teaching geography failed four times political scientist teaching geography failed four times and some hindi ma in hindi through hindi medium they are teaching geography failed four times so the genuine teachers you have to identify where is the genuine teachers teaching the subject if your optional is political science go to a person who is a professor of political science they have all type of experience so this is actually a badi vidambana hai ki in this market the popular coaching centers are attracting the large number of students and some of very good students are wasting their 2 3 years otherwise this is one year course if the teacher is guru seriously involved in your career and take your career as his personal career then i yes you can achieve the target in one year but if the guru is guru ghantal and a pujari of lakshmi you will be in difficulty so these these are a few points apart from this in a geographic answer the value of maps and diagrams is very important never attempt a short note unless it is from geographical thought etc aerial differentiation never attempt a short note without one diagram at least one diagram should be in a short note for 15 marks question there should be two diagrams minimum more you give the better and thirdly for a 30 for a 20 marks question we should add at least three diagram now you see if there is a question on the temperate cyclone you have to explain the polar front theory or what is a front then you have to give some diagram you have to explain actually the distribution of these oh not before that what are the characteristics several diagram may be coming there what is the actually pattern of weather conditions in the temperate cyclone pattern of weather conditions in the temperate cyclone that diagram is to be given and finally the tracks the routes they follow three four automatically will be the minimum this we have to adopt the pattern so my point of advice to you because you are my student your result is my result and i never bother where you came from i never try to ask also because i know you people are dukhi prani you people suffered a lot paid the money the parents suffer they expect so much uh, from you people investing money on you when the result is not coming the family is also disappointed so i wish each one of you may secure very good marks in geography and i will be guiding you on those lines plus <coughs> while giving diagrams you should follow the pattern of geographers do as romans do 
चिमगादड़ का मेहमान उल्टा लटकता है आप उसको पसंद करें या ना करें जोग्राफर्स वॉन्ट टू सी द डायग्राम एज दे डिड और डूइंग थ्रू आउट एज दे आर प्रोवाइडेड इन एटलेस और इन बुक्स यू आर रीडिंग वाइल एडोप्टिंग दिस द कलर शुड बी अवॉइडेड बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज नॉट गुड इन कलर स्कीम इफ यू आर शोइंग ब्रह्मपुत्र और गंगा विद रेडिंग तो आपने तो खून की नदियां बहा दी इट शुड बी एदर पेंसिल और इट शुड बी ब्लू और ग्रीन ब्लू इज प्रीफरेबल दिस इज ए कलर स्कीम वी हैव टू थिंक सीरियसली इफ देर इज ए डेजर्ट एंड यू आर कलरिंग इट ग्रीन डेजर्ट कैन नॉट बी ग्रीन दीज आर कॉमन सेंस Unfortunately, all of you are graduates. Common sense is not common. You will do according to your wishes. Dil hai ke manta nahi. Mujhe yehi check karna chahta hu. But please forget. Therefore, go for the coloring only if you know the color scheme of geographers. Otherwise, pencil is not a bad option. In pencil diagram, you can erase. You can redraw. That is a big advantage. but giving diagram because my neighbor is giving a diagram should not be the practice when you give the diagram it should be properly labeled without labeling it carries no meaning the examiner will cut you want to say something but you are not able to say where is the temperature where is the height that point should be taken and in some of the diagrams if there is a diagram like interior of the earth we have to draw a circle or more than one circle most of you draw the circle free hand drawing free hand drawing circle is a perfect ge- geometric figure a perfect circle cannot be drawn free hand you should take the help of stencil stencils are available in the market carry stencil and draw the circle there may be two circles i showing you the mental outer core inner core that can be shown if they are going to plot the earthquake or seismic waves so please always go in the examination hall apne pure astra shastra ke sath jaiye nobody object you provided you have not written anything on the stencil they will allow you what are allowed in the upsc examination circles are allowed triangles rectangles squares parallelogram pentagon hexagons all these figures are available in the market and carry these figures in the because if there is a question on the center place theory you have to draw the hexagon k3 k4 k6 k7 network so in that case these stencils save your time and the answer book is neat and tidy i am telling you that when a good answer book comes where there is no cutting and the drawing is good दिस बूढ़ा प्रोफेसर फेर कि दिस इज द आंसर बुक ऑफ ए गर्ल ए गर्ल ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स ऑफ एज और ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ एज सो ऑटोमेटिकली वो लिबरल हो जाता है ही गिवस एटलीस्ट वन मार्क मोर यू हैव बी फुल बाई यूर गुड प्रेजेंटेशन ये हमारे माइंड में बना हुआ है गुड हैंड राइटिंग मीन्स गर्ल्स हैंड राइटिंग बॉयज राइट वेरी गुड आई नो समाई स्टूडेंट्स आर वेरी गुड इन राइटिंग but they take it otherwise and when the idea of a girl comes in the mind of a retired professor he becomes over liberal he gives more marks this is one thing so take the advantage never draw a circle with free hand drawing most of the answer books i checked except the answer book of my old students i found ink has been used to draw the circle in that question on the physical constitution of the earth in the light of seismic waves or earthquake waves one boy is drawing the perfect circle another is drawing jaise koi seekhne wali roti banati hai chapati banati hai ulti seedhi circle banaya hai to there will be difference the examiner will feel that this answer sheet is better better presentation means with the same knowledge one way we beating to you and never try actually to help your friends i don't want to in, go into the details because you may be teaching your friend and friend's handwriting may be better that friend will beat you in the examination and once she is selected 
and you have <laughs> still to go for this competition the candidate will go to lal bahadur shastri academy the relationship will break there will be new relationships so for one year forget about it. never try to teach your friends you should be very selfish because this is a competition only one mark difference can get you in the list of selected candidates and one mark less may put you down again go for this rigorous exercise of pt means an interview one more point before i hand over the result to you <coughs> <coughs> in paper one we don't have to write much from our own side if it is geosyncline or any topic of climatology oceanography you have to reproduce the knowledge which is available in the book and books are of two types books published by the foreign authors and books written by like we people indians try to avoid the indian authors unless there is a compulsion if you are not following the book of a foreign author then go for the indian author because if you are going for that the answer will not be very lengthy answer but diagrams are to be inserted or your answer is to be documented with some maps and diagrams avoid the diagrams of indian authors say why because ours is a caste ridden society if you are reading singh and the examiner is mishra we know what are the diagrams of singh we know who is the examiner if the examiner is mishra he will say acha ye uska bhakt hai dekhta hu because evaluation is subjective and the rivalry of the department is reflected in the evaluation work also i know it personally why you are failing to buy are isse ko kya aata hai isse sevender singh pad rakha hai usi ke diagram de rakhe and sevender singh ne copy kar rakha hai if this is the actually mind of the examiner you try to get rid of this consult the book for no for your writing but diagram should be from foreign author if you give the foreign author diagram then you are having double advantage number one some of the diagrams may be latest where the examiner will feel that this candi candidate knows more than myself if the candidate is superior he should get one mark more or two marks more because he never read after ma after ma once a person becomes a permanent faculty member in any department they never read ab kya padhna hai i am a man of population geography i will be teaching population geography for 36 years there cannot be any change in the time table so for 36 years the person may be teaching only population geography or agricultural geography or environmental geography he doesn't know he he is not familiar what is happening in geomorphology or plate tectonics he is not knowing what are the latest development in geographical thought so if you introduce something new he may cut it the diagrams particularly he will observe which book you have consulted because your writing your answer books reveal your personality also your commitment to the authors so try to avoid the diagrams of the indian authors maybe my diagrams also though i borrowed most of the diagrams from foreign authors i am not a creator of diagrams i also did some exercise but the diagrams are from foreign authors it does not mean consult my book go for the any book you feel easy to read ncert is i think is most easy but diagram should be from foreign diagram should be from foreign authors this should be avoided now there will be many more points which i want to say but the easy book should be pre, uh, should be on your table the book which you read and follow that should be on your table if you are reading for example hard stone or nature of geography or you are consulting peat antipod then you will be in difficulties they have written with much difficult language kitab wo achhi hoti jo padh ke samajh mein aaye but the prevailing environment is totally different you read nature of geography written by hartson okay the kya likha hai sahab padhte samajh mein nahi aate it is a standard book 
the book which is, you are not following, you give a comment. Oh, this is the standard book. उसका क्या standard है? पढ़के समझ में नहीं आती. Lecture का भी यही मामला है. When the lecture go goes above the head, you say the professor is excellent. क्या बोलते हैं? क्या lecture देते हैं? कंधे हिलाते हैं, lecture देते हैं, चले जाते हैं, समझ में कुछ नहीं आता. So that should not be the criteria to determine the quality of book or the quality of a lecture. Try to obtain simple book. And out of those simple books, prepare your own notes. These are some points of advice. I will be discussing thoroughly some model answers of each question, and I think it will be a long class today. First, let me hand you hand over you the result. And first, I will give the result of the students who appeared on the scheduled date here in this room. Yes. Yeah. There may be some mistake of totally, and if there is a mistake, you please point me out. I can do the correction. Though I feel the mistake will not be there. Yes, Shivam Kumar. You have to do. It. Should I reveal the marks also? No, he got 30 out of 250. Navin. Navin, you have to do very hard. Thirty-nine. Shobhi Garg. Shobhi Garg. Not present. How much is the marks? Forty something. Asmita Singh. Fifty-six. S Bansal, Swamin Bansal, Sorni Bansal, Sorni Bansal, sixty-one. Piyush Kumar Ankit, seventy-two. Rahul Bora, Rahul is present. By personally, एक सवाल है. अगर आपका दिल चाहे जवाब दे दीजिए वर्णन से आपने कोचिंग कहां से कर रखी है ये मुश्किल सवाल है मुझे पूछना नहीं चाहिए अगर बताएं तो उससे मुझे कुछ फायदा होगा योर मार्क्स यू आर नॉट टेलिंग सेवेंटी फोर देर आर सम सीरियस मिस्टेक्स एंड टू द एक्सटेंट ऑफ ब्लंडर्स ट्राई टू अवॉइड द ब्लंडर्स रिंकू मीना एटी Himanshu Singh, eighty-six. Renuka, eighty-eight. Nikhil Yadav, ninety. Muhammad Arshad Haider Nakhvi, ninety. Anshul Tiwari. 94. जो सवाल किए हैं अच्छे किए हैं जहां छोड़ दिया उस पर नंबर कोई नहीं देगा आपको <coughs> पर नौ दूबे नाइन्टी सेवन सुराभी सुराभी वन हंड्रेड फैसल खान फैसल यू गॉट वन हंड्रेड वन अभिनव चौधरी अभिनव वन सॉरी वन हंड्रेड एंड वन प्लीज पास मोहित गहलावत वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव एस प्रतीक वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव स्वाति शेखर 106. Swapnil, 108. Are you from Manipur? Where are you from? Oh, sorry. You got 108. Tejasvi, 
then Prashant Kumar, this is a very good answer sheet, 123, Indarveer Singh, doing well, 127, you got 286 this year, you have to improve your GS, 286 and hopefully this will be doing around 300. Then Rohit Singh, you have to add more number of words per page. Listen to it carefully. He got the highest, 132. This is the highest he got, 132 in 3 hours sitting here in giving in the examination. And the director asked me to give a book to the student who got the highest marks. So Rohit, it is your turn. Come and take the book. Congratulations. All the best. He is already a selected candidate. When do you, did you get less marks? In interview? Shave web banana nahi gaye the? Ya aap se pehle koi ladki thi? Ha, wo to aap safar karenge ye. Ladkiyan ke baad jo ladka aata hai, wo bichara victim hota hai. The knowledge of the girls may be less. Lekin ye kandhe hila ke kuch aise interview dete hain, kuch polish hoti hain, ki automatically ye bohre professor fir zyada number dete. Aap par double mar padni hai. अगर आप लड़कियों के बाद इंटरव्यू दे रहे हैं यू हैव टू बी एक्सीलेंट बिकॉज गर्ल्स आर जनरली वेरी सॉफ्ट स्पोकन एंड देर आर देर इज ऑलवेज ए सिंपैथी ऑफ द एग्जामिनर्स और द इंटरव्यू टेकर्स टुवर्ड्स द गर्ल्स दे आर मोर स्मार्ट दे नो हाउ टू स्टील द शो नाउ दोज हु सबमिटेड दियर रिजल्ट फ्रॉम दियर होम्स प्लीज भाई आपको तो बहुत ही मेहनत करना मनीष कुमार पटेल मनीष इज नॉट हियर 29 अमित कुमार दुबे 56 विनीत कुमार 57 सपना पाल 66 Ashish Raj 71 please just pass <coughs> Ankur Tiwari 75 Gajendra Pratap Singh 78 Azimul Haq, I see, 84. Akash Arya, 87. Akshay, sorry. Amulya Ratan, 86. Rahul Parashar, 88. Please just pass. This is a good answer sheet. Rajesh Kumar Meena. Your medium is Hindi. Your medium is Hindi. You can improve a lot. 91. You know, last year, Shalender secured 291. His medium was Hindi. He used to listen my lecture here in English. And his, he wrote in Hindi. And he got 291. The rank is also 38 or something like that. 38 rank is not bad with Hindi medium securing very good mass in geography. With Hindi medium securing very good mass in geography. Next one is Karan Kabir Singh, 92. Deepak Raj, Deepak, 92. Suraj Tanej Kinkar 93 Pardeep Kumar equally good with Hindi medium 96 Vikash Kumar 96 
then uttam sharma you missed some question 97 well done amit 99 Harshvardhan, Harshvardhan J. Mane, 103. Sushil, 105. Adarsh Mishra, 111. Next is Garma Rane. Garima? Oh, I have not heard of it. 113 Himanshu Kumar Singh 115 well done P Kulshreshta 117 Manas Singh 120 Gulshan Sharma 125 Gaurav Lumar Lumaria 126 Hemant Meena 130 Ravi Anand भाई आपकी कोचिंग कहां से है आप तो बता सकते हैं चूंकि आपके नंबर अच्छे हैं यू डिड वेरी वेल यू कैन इंप्रूव इवन वन थर्टी टू लेकिन ये पता नहीं कै घंटे में आपने लिखा है दैट आई डोंट नो शुराबी वन हंड्रेड जो सब पूरा पेपर लिखे और बढ़िया लिखे और घर से लिखे तो उस पर डाउट होता है आई हैव गिवन ए कमेंट नेक्स्ट टाइम यू शुड अपियर इन दैट क्लास टू इवेल्युएट और टू हैव जस्ट इवेल्युएशन ऑफ योर परफॉर्मेंस so this is the result some you of of you got very good marks and there will be improvement onwards some of you are not up to the mark they have they can also improve because i remember once mayur maheshwari he did coaching from three coaching centers three leading coaching centers of delhi four time he came and said sir i am a person non grata in my family is from merit he said everybody dislikes me because out of 600 i never got 250 marks in geography though i did coaching from three coaching centers i don't want to name the names of the coaching centers but he was really crying that i am the most unpopular person in my family and this is the last chance he was under general category so he attended my test series it was my first batch i am talking 2003 believe it or not he never got 250 out of 600 after this test series he got 360 in geography 360 in geography out of 600 and he got the sixth rank also i was i was in america he rang me well sir i am thankful to you now i am on the line now he is with the prime minister as a joint secretary so sometime those who are getting poor marks they should not lose heart because you can improve a lot provided you take these coming 3 4 months seriously don't read too much but try to write enough every day it is the written exercise which is more important because marks are award uh, awarded on the written material not on your knowledge this is not the actually criteria the examiner will read your answer and will give you the marks how much you know nobody bothers your knowledge may be more than the knowledge of the teacher but if you are not writing it in the answer book in the given time then you may be lo loser one more point uh, as a caution if you don't know the answer of a question never guess never try don't give the question answer of the question it is better because you will be writing 5 6 or 7 minutes and after writing 5 6 or 7 minutes you will be getting a zero zero you can get without writing without writing also we can secure a zero so
so what is the use of wasting 6 7 minutes devote these 6 7 minutes to other better questions in which you are really thorough in which you can give better drive so these are some points and i will be telling you much more points what should be done should not be done for this upsc examination but tell me whether i should start giving you some points on the paper which was asked last time with some diagrams or you want your own choice how to proceed to discuss the paper so ek paper le ke you have the paper for a better acha ye tumhare pe lagu nahi hota hai question paper le nahi tum rakho isko kya le ये तुम्हारी उसमें कैसे आ गया तो कुछ कुछ छोड़ रखे ना तुम लेकिन जो किया है वो बहुत अच्छा गया नो आइसो हेलाइन के बेस पर था सब आएगा आपको सब आएगा जो क्लास में बैठते हैं उनको सब आता है Actually, test series cannot be a substitute to the regular classes. I am telling you honestly. In Pargati, only one teacher is teaching all the twenty units. Number one. Secondly, our class begins regularly at the same time, and the teacher never fails ill. If he Well, still he will be making a prediction. After twenty days, I will be ill. There may be some family commitments, but we announce this. Leave at least fifteen twenty days before. There is no excuse. The students are allowed to discuss and to clarify their points in the class, after the class, next day, or any day. This is not for the promotion. but we know if you do geography with pragati you will be rewarded this is it now the first question is this is write short notes there are five short notes and each is to be written in 150 words for 150 words my suggestion is never go by the direction if the examiner is asking you to write 150 words it means 150 into 5 750 the 750 words may take minimum 50 minutes and if you are consuming 50 minutes on one question the second question may be even better you may be consuming 50 minutes there also so in the final fifth question you will not be having much time and if we are writing 50 marks question in 20 minutes or 15 minutes you will be the loser never be i mean time management is very important in this never cross the limit and one way to save the time is please never write more than 120 words 120 words should be upper limit try to reduce 100 to 120 with one diagram if it is inversion of temp temperature give one diagram if there is any any other short note sea breeze or land breeze give one diagram that will compensate the number of words and you know in the examination nobody counts your words they are not sitting there to do the exercise of do the exercise of counting words they know whether the main points have been described by this student or not this is the way how to do so first question was short note write short note five short notes and it should be finished in 37 38 minutes at the most 50 minutes so the first short note was on <coughs> discuss the monocyclic and polycyclic landform mostly the answer is written by most of you but you got four four and a half some of you got five also because the documentation part was poor 
the diagrams were not up to the expectations of the examiner. So, note down a few points if this question is coming as a short note. Monocyclic and polycyclic. Most of the land, most of the landscapes, in bracket landforms. Most of the landscapes, landforms are the products of a single cycle of erosion. Such cycle of erosions, such cycle of erosions can be observed, can be observed on the new volcanic formations. Underline volcanic formations. Actually, only volcanoes are the landforms on which you can fi find the monocyclic landforms. Otherwise, all the other cycles have been disturbed, partly or fully. Therefore, we have to highlight that actually such sim simple landforms are available only on the new lava. It may be a cone or a plateau. Next sentence, continue. In a humid, in a humid region, having alternate sedimentary and igneous rocks, having alternate igneous and sedimentary rocks, the rate of erosion will be different. the physical and chemical weathering will also differ. Stop. According to geomorphologist, monocyclic landforms at present are rare and exceptions. Next line. Polycyclic or multicyclic landforms. Landforms that show repeated influence of more than one cycle of erosion are known as the polycyclic landforms. Stop. In nature, the complexity of landscape, the complexity of landforms is more common than simplicity. Stop. Continue. Some of the typical examples, some of the typical examples of polycyclic landforms, of polycyclic landforms may be cited from the Grand Canyon, of the Colorado River in USA. After full stop, these landforms are 
significantly found in the Appalachian Mountains. Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Aravallis. Next line. The polycyclic the polycyclic landforms the polycyclic landforms can be identified with the help of incised meanders incised meanders river terraces valley within valley in other words in a polycyclic landform the regeneration the regeneration of landscape takes, takes place continue the diagrams which explain the monocyclic and polycyclic landforms are given below. This much is sufficient for a short road, but you can insert some diagram. Rather, the diagram should have been inserted at two places: after monocyclic, and second, secondly, after polycyclic. First, see the uh, monocyclic diagrams. In a normal cycle of erosion, there are some features which you can observe. If there is a waterfall, it means it is a monocyclic landfall. The water is falling. This is a re very strong rock resistant. This is a rapid. The this swift movement of water. Gorge or V-shaped valley. This is a steep sided valley, you can say it is a gorge. And in the plain area, there may be meanders and oxbow lakes. Finally, near the sea, there may be a delta. I have given many diagrams. I don't know how much you will be able to do. At least give one or two diagrams, if not all. These are the di diagrams representing the monocyclic landforms avoid coloring because coloring will consume more time unless you are very fast if you are swift nothing like this because color diagram attracts more I am telling you honestly if the diagram is colored the examiner has a different thinking about the candidate ye bataiye sundar cheez kisko achhi nahi lagti normally makeup kyo kiya jata hai ki attractive lage और बूढ़े प्रोफेसरों को ये डायग्राम ज्यादा ही अच्छे लगते हैं पता नहीं उनके मन में क्या क्या होता है इसलिए ट्राई टू टेक द एडवांटेज बट नेवर गो व्हाट योर फ्रेंड इज डूइंग सिंपल डायग्राम सिंपल डायग्राम नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन आई गॉट सम डायग्राम्स टू शो द पॉलीसाइक्लिक दिस डायग्राम हैज बीन गिवन बाय सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स rejuvenated valley at least one can be given it is a block diagram three dimensional simple one but it should not consume more than one minute in the examination hall if you master it and able to do it in one minute then it is upward if you are devoting 2 3 minutes for one diagram 
then it is not actually the proper use of time. You can have Xerox copy after the class because I have to show you so many things and so many model answers are to be discussed. So this is one example and some students who are really very good and very fast in their presentation. This is the polycyclic valley with river terraces. There is a nick point in this. So get, give at least one diagram out of the, all these. And there should be proper writing and labeling. So two diagrams. And each, in each I have given five, six. If you combine them, maybe seven, eight diagrams. Never give so many diagrams. Because each diagram will be consuming time. We want to show in a simple uh, d um, landscape, you will find only one agent of erosion, maybe running water, making a steep sided valley, meanders and delta. Then the second is polycyclic where rejuvenation has taken place. It was a short note and our intention should be to secure six marks. The examiner is very miserly. They generally give five, five plus, five and a half. And some students secure three, three and a half, four, four and a half. These are the actually uh, level of marking. Some may be getting only two marks if there is cutting over writing. And the boy who is sitting here, he knows what I am saying. If, if he is doing cutting writing, he is not IES metal, IPS metal. Try to avoid cutting. So one thing which I am saying that written material should be less. It should be documented with maps. So far as the short notes in, in seven minutes you can do all this. Perhaps if you read the directions at the top of your answer book in the UPSC, there are many points. Given to suitable maps and diagrams. You may get only four marks. simple. If you read more, you will be in difficulty. Try to avoid more reading. Bulky books are not appreciated. This was a short note on monocyclic and polycyclic diagram. And if somebody is interested to gain more knowledge and has a program, a five years program in Mukherjee Nagar, he should read Thornbury. Geomorphology by Thornbury. That is the standard book. Most of the scholars have borrowed material in their book of, of geomorphology from that. The geomorphology by by W. D. Thornbury. It is known as the Bible. Or geomorphology. The language, the language is tough. It is not a simple language. The second short note was ex explain the relationship between the structure and landfall. Note down a few points on this short note also. The concept of structure, note down the sentences. The concept of structure was introduced by W. M. Davis. in his normal cycle of erosion. When he 
when he said land form is a function land form is a function of structure process and stage in bracket time stop in his opinion structure means the types of rocks their hardness mineral composition joints folds and parts porosity and ph value there are so many things in there next line in general the hard rocks are resistant while the while the soft and weak rocks are weathered and eroded easily for example the igneous the igneous granite and basalt they are more resistant as compared to the sedimentary sedimentary limestone and sandstone stop continue if there is an alternate arrangement of sedimentary and igneous rocks the sedimentary rocks will, will be eroded fast this is universal and it applies to running water glaciers wind action sea waves and underground water now you know the actually land forms created by running water created by glaciers or developed by wind action in the desert there are many after writing only these lines give some diagrams the diagrams can be from the book you are reading and i will also show you some diagram which can fetch you better marks and for a short note only one diagram may be sufficient i will be showing you several diagrams diagrams don't try to give all the diagrams varna gaadi nikal jayegi give only one the simple which you feel comfortable is if this is a formation in which the sedimentary rocks and the hard igneous rocks are lying parallel to each other the soft rock will be eroded first it will be the material will be removed so one diagram 
to explain this point is this one. It has been borrowed from Thornbury. Anybody who has taken it, it is from Thorn Thornbury. The dark shows the hard rocks. These are the igneous formations. These are limestone and sandy stone. So you can give this diagram, but the diagram should be drawn with the help of a foot rule. They should be almost parallel. And in case you are good in drawing uh, color, you can color it. Otherwise, <coughs> leave it as it is with simple design. This is, the, I mean, these rocks are resistant. They are not getting eroded. It shows the structure is important. The softer material of limestone, this is the symbol for limestone. This is the symbol for sandy stone. They are eroded fast. If the topography is igneous and it is only granite, in the granite formations, you know, you have done weathering, that exfoliation is the common form of weathering. Exfoliation or onion <laughs> either give this diagram, it is more simple. For a granite, you can take the example in the onion type or exfoliation type of, you have this type of formations. Actually, the chips are falling from here. So the formation of rocks or the land form will be like this one. It may take more time. It may consume if your practice is less. It is the practice which will make you perfect. Written material is important, but diagrams are more important to get 60 percent mass. So you see this is a dome like formation onion where the expansion in the daytime, the outer temperature of the rock is increasing because of expansion. In the night it falls, lead to the formation of this type of formation and you can cite these we can observe in Karnataka. <coughs> in the upper reaches of the Krishna river, you can have this type of topography just to impress upon the examiner. I know the Indian scenario also. This is one point which you can add. Now there are other diagrams also more simple, but these two are preferable from my point of view. Give only one diagram, do not go for so many. If actually there are hard rocks here, lava, and this is good, then you may develop mesa and buds. These are hard pieces at the top. This is also a simple diagram. And even simple, which you can use in the first also, monocyclic. So out of all these you can give only one diagram and person like Uttam Sharma can deviate from all these diagrams because porosity is also important. Some rocks are porous, some are not porous. The water does not filter through them. So there is a porosity diagram, this shows the structure. This rock is porous and in this the water is, these, these are permeable. The water is going down only through cracks, but these are actually porous soil. All these are complicated diagrams. At least out of the given diagrams, you give one diagram for a short note. I have shown you many options are there. Because if everybody is showing the same diagram, it becomes monotonous for the examiner. If the diagrams are different, different from your colleagues, in that case, he is attracted. This was about the second short note, structure effects. 
the development of land for the third short note was comment on the adiabatic cooling and heating it was a simple question most of you did it well and got 4 marks 5 marks 5 and 1/2 marks some of you got 3 and 1/2 my suggest you being a student of science everybody knows what is adiabatic change of temperature when a parcel of air is rising without removing the heat its volume expands and it it start becoming cool as it goes up it the volume further expands and that becomes more cool so this is known as adiabatic cooling reverse is also correct any parcel of air descending from above downward the volume condenses reduces and it gains heat this is the basic concept of adiabatic cooling and adiabatic heating write a few lines and in all the books it is given but i will show you a diagram which must be inserted with this adiabatic cooling and adiabatic heating this is from john stuns book not indian author on the x axis horizontal i base i have plotted the temperature 0 degree 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree on the left hand side is the temperature in minus and this y axis shows the height in the troposphere so both these lines should be perpendicular to each other when you are giving the diagram use the foot rule will say it will consume time bhai agar different karna hai to time to lagana padega reduce the words devote time to the diagrams so draw this 90 degree angle base and perpendicular and see this is a parcel of here air here the temperature is 30 degree as it is going the size or volume is increasing the temperature is decreasing further it ascended further the temperature declined to 10 degree here it may be 0 degree it shows the adiabatic cooling as you are going up into the atmosphere the parcel of air is becoming cool and reverse is also correct <coughs> at this height the temperature is minus 20 degrees celsius all this data is fabricated as you are coming down the volume is shrinking getting reduced it is minus 10 degree then it becomes zero here and maybe 10 degrees celsius as you come down close to the earth the temperature increases and this is the reason why at the tropic of cancer or 30 degree north and 30 degree south the air is descending in the headless cell and the temperature is also increasing so so far as the text is concerned even 50 60 words are sufficient but give this diagram you will be saving time you will be getting more marks it should be properly labeled for 2 3 minutes you should devote to the diagram Four minutes for your written material. Only this much. You can expect five, five and a half. And the interesting thing about this diagram is, it has been obtained from a book, which was published in 2000, 2010. Your experts, your examiners, never touch that book. I feel, unless they are the men of geomorphology, because people of geomorphology they go for the latest geology, they go for the latest literature, but other people they don't go for it. they don't want to read why why should i read i am a man of agricultural geography i will be consulting the literature on agricultural geography not only this some of them say i am an expert of dairy farming in agriculture also mai to doodh dahi ka expert hu and that is also of haryana so why should i read anything else so if you are giving the novelty type of diagrams you attract the exam attention of the examiner and he has a feeling of inferiority that this boy is superior to me and if he is superior to me he should get better marks 
the drawing is okay the concept has been explained very clearly with the help of this diagram if the parcel of air is going up it expands and become cool if it is coming down it shrinks in volume and becomes warm this can be explained you save the time you can manage it in about 6 7 minutes now the next short note was explain the thermohaline circulation some of you have written good answers but some of you have explained both the horizontal movement of ocean current as well as the vertical movement of the ocean currents as a result of variation in the density of salinity actually since it was a short note thermohaline means thar temperature and salinity how these two are interdependent how they help in sinking the denser water and the lighter water comes up actually it was about the vertical circulation of the ocean vertical not horizontal though i gave mars anybody who said that from the high salinity area or high temperature high salinity area the ocean currents go towards the pole and the cold water descend towards the equator that has not been cut i have given the mars on that also but when it was specifically mention the thermohaline thar means temperature haline means salinity the question was on ts diagram or vertical circulation and for vertical circulation after mentioning that the <coughs> circulation of the oceans is of two types you can note down these sentences the circulation of water is of two types horizontal and vertical the horizontal and vertical circulations are controlled by temperature salinity rate of evaporation depth of the ocean and the submarine topography next line the thermohaline circulation means the vertical circulation of water in which the denser water goes down or sinks while the lighter cool water goes up this concept has been explained this concept has been explained by helen hennison helen hennison he was an oceanographer from denmark helen hennison in 1960 through ts diagram which is given below and here give this hel helen's diagram hansen's diagram 
this diagram was required. In this diagram, three variables have been plotted. On the vertical axis is the temperature. Temperature is declining as you are going deep down. It is in Celsius. On the x axis base is the salinity per thousand. The salinity is 33 here, 34 per thousand, 35 per thousand, 36 and 37. And these curves show the density of water. The surface density of water is 1.021. It increases downward 1.022, 1.023, 1.024, etc. So, on the TS diagram, Helen plotted three variables and he drew a result that as we go down from the surface of the ocean up to a depth of 2 kilometer and 2 kilometer is here up to a depth of 2 kilometer both the salinity and the temperature decline they are coming this side temperature is decreasing and salinity is also decreasing because here the salinity was more so one sentence up to 2 kilometer from the surface of a ocean both the temperature and the salinity declines underline this sentence after 2 kilometer in the equatorial region and temperate latitudes in the equatorial region and temperate latitudes the temperature decreases but the salinity increases but the salinity increases this is because the increase in density of water stop after about 3 kilometer after about 3 kilometer <coughs> both the temperature and salinity decline stop the bottom temperature of the ocean the bottom temperature of the ocean is however never below the freezing point and here you can stop so far as this short note is concerned one or two sentence you can add what is the significance of this TS diagram point wise significance of thermohaline number one it helps <coughs> in explaining the vertical circulation of ocean number 2 number 2 like air masses the oceanographers demarcate the water masses with similar physical properties with similar physical and chemical properties the third point it it explains the upwelling upwelling it helps or it explains the upwelling of cool water in the temperate regions which are the place of origin of cold currents and here you can stop 
if you have some more time you say the canary current the bengula current the peru current the california current and the west australia current they originate around 50 55 degrees north or south and this is because of upwelling of cold water and this is a complete note for 10 marks this much is sufficient with one diagram books you consult will be lost more you read more you get confused the examiner want to check you whether you the your basic concept is clear and whether you have plotted it on a diagram the next question was about the ecological what it was about yes ecological premise most of you have written it rightly some of you got 6 marks some 5 marks some 4 some 4 and a half some got 5 and a half so i don't want to discuss it is so simple but only advice about this short note is try to draw the pyramids with the help of with the help of foot rule you have drawn free hand drawing that is rough your rival will be going i assure you those who are competing with you they will be doing it with the help of foot rule the triangle or conical shape so try to take the advantage devote 30 seconds more your diagram will be neat and you will be rewarded for this reduce the words but give the neat diagram neat and labeled the next question i am coming to the bigger question now <coughs> in the light of the seismic waves explain the interior of the earth in bracket this 350 words never write 350 at the most 275 or 300 because in this question you cannot do a justice without diagrams diagrams will be required and diagrams may take more time if you have the practice right these days if you are doing the practice of diagram you will be good in the examination will be confident also but if you do the practice in the examination hall i am not sure what will be the quality of your diagram so you know enough about this because it is almost a topic from physics elementary physics but we have to introduce the answer throughout the history of earthquakes the geomorphologist or the experts of seismology were trying to know what is inside the earth this is a general sentence which you can make they applied several techniques like temperature technique pressure technique or gravity or density of technique but they were not able to reach to a definite result unfortunately direct evidence is not available about the interior of the earth actually in the law there are two type of evidence direct evidence and circumstantial evidence or indirect evidence per chance the direct evidence is considered as the best in direct circumstantial evidence or weak evidence the criminal is generally acquitted but if you see a murder has been committed here you are standing you observe you know the person he was the killer it is a direct evidence and on your evidence if you give the evidence people are shy they don't want to go to, to the court the person may be sent to tihar jail for life may be actually sentenced to death on the basis of this evidence so best evidence is the direct evidence because you have seen the act has been committed by some criminal but there is another way also circumstantial evidence not to be written in the examination suppose when you are com- when you were coming here to attend this lecture you saw that a person was going with the dagger and after after some time you heard a, a person has been killed in the park and you observed that the same person is coming with the dagger with the stain of blood this is the uh, situation person going with the dagger and returning with the stone 
and people are shouting a person has been killed so the circumstances prove that he is that killer he killed the person but this is a weak evidence because in indian movie you know somebody else commits the crime and the hero takes the dagger out the hero is trial the trial is made of the hero that is a different so indirect evidence are weak evidence therefore the geographers or geomorphologists were not able to know what is inside that but after 1935 when seismograph and richter scale were developed geographers and geologist plus geomorphologists they obtained seismic evidence and this seismic evidence or the behavior of seismic waves that prove what is inside this is to be condensed in four five sentences some where you have to say that direct evidence about the interior of the earth is not available in the absence of direct evidence the geomorphologist and the seismologists are depending on the seismic waves after stopping this sentence say whenever the earthquake take place different types of waves are generated these waves are called as the p waves primary waves or longitudinal waves there are uh, secondary waves also transverse waves and the surface waves don't go into much detail now explain in two three lines the basic properties of these waves we start with longitudinal waves the primary waves the primary waves are the fastest they are recorded first as the seismograph right they can pass through any medium they can pass through solid liquid or gas and the general principle is denser the material more the speed of these waves after writing this give one example they are analogous to the sound waves when i am shouting i am creating the primary waves stop here then the secondary waves or transverse waves the transverse waves can pass only through solid they have the weakness they cannot pass through liquid and the light waves are the example they are analogous light cannot pass through the liquid material after certain the depth they disappear and the surface waves the third category they are recorded all over the world they move only in the earth crust upper part in few sentences you have to reduce this explaining the behavior and then give start giving the diagrams this shows the second reviews if it is a focus place of origin of earthquake and this is epicenter immediately above vertical to the focus the primary and secondary waves will propagate in all direction but the secondary waves they disappear after 103 the correct figure latest figure is 103 some of you have written 105 do a correction the latest the seismologists are saying they come out at an angle of 103 and they are not recorded in this area from the focus they are not recorded it means this is a shadow area for the second reviews or for the transfer so far as the primary waves are concerned they have the capacity they can pass through solid and liquid both but when they change the medium when they enter from solid to liquid there is refraction the direction changes the direction changes and when they come out from liquid to solid again there is refraction that has been shown on this diagram this is from a hamblin's book a latest literary book one very important I, i i again remind you if you are consulting old literature or the literature produced by indian authors <coughs> do a correction 
this is 103 and 143, not 105 and 145. Your model answer will be having this figure. Now, the primary waves they are going here, but after reaching this, they enter into the liquid. And from the liquid again they come into the solid, they change their angle or refraction. So that picture comes, the secondary waves they are coming out at 103, but the primary waves they are entering here get refracted, again get refracted. So as a result of this behavior of the primary waves or the longitudinal waves or the push waves, they are developed seismic shadow zone. The area between 103 and 143 is the seismic shadow zone. This area will not be recording neither primary wave nor secondary wave. So you have to shade this area. There may be a short note in your examination on the seismic shadow zone. It is the shadow zone in which neither primary nor secondary waves are recorded. Because the secondary waves are not able to penetrate in the liquid and the primary waves, if they, they are able to enter in the liquid but the angle changes. So these seismic shadow zone are to be plotted. Now it proves what? That after certain depth, there is a liquid. There is a liquid in which the secondary waves are not able to pass or enter. This is the inference from this. But the longitudinal waves also get changed their angle. That is why there is a shadow zone. And after writing this much, give a diagram which is a must. And many of you wrote so many pages but did not give the final diagram. The final diagram shows the interior physical constitution of the what are the different layers? How on the basis of indirect evidence obtained from the seismic waves, we are able to find the interior of that. This diagram is to be given. On the one hand side are the physical properties, on this side are the chemical properties. This is actually the lithosphere on which we are living. Lithosphere consists of solid rocks like continents and ocean basins like oceans. This blue green color shows the ocean basins. Going downward up to 100, this is actually litho, stone, rocks. Then there is a plastic zone known as the asthenosphere. Right? It is up to 700 kilometer. Then is the mantle. The depth is 2900 kilometer. At 2,900 kilometer, this inner core, the outer core is liquid, and the waves come out, secondary waves, out after reaching this point. Then further down, we have the outer core, this is liquid, and inner core, it is rigid. Finalize, reduce the number of words, and give the diagram. And you can expect 12 out of 20. If this question is coming, it will be 20 marks question. In case it is coming 15 marks, reduce the text, give the diagram. They are very simple, but for this question I advise always go with stencil. So that in 10 seconds you can draw a perfect circle. Perfect circle with hand is not possible. And in geometry, circle is the only perfect figure. Your rival is taking the stencil with him and you are relying on your hand. Because your hand will not be able to draw a perfect circle in which the radius in all directions is the same. This was the actually answer, a model type of answer for the earthquake waves or the interior of the earth. The next question is, define isostasy and explain Aries concept. It is a very simple concept based on Archimedes. Pardon? Ah, catastrophe, yes, 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 yes. Please note down some points on catastrophes. 
and uniformitarianism. It is important. If you need a break, I can give you a break. The choice is yours. There may be some candidates who are found of Dhumrupan. Agar cigarette vidi pina hai, to 10 minute ke liye disperse ho jate hai, we can meet again. But remember, it will be a long class. Chukhe, I have to give you so many tips. Is liye agar aap chahe, to ek break le lije, ya ab nahi kuch dher ke baad lena chahe, you can tell me. Agar washroom jana hai, ya kahi bahar jana hai, you can. You can have a cup of tea also in 10 minutes. Wo mujhe bata dije, what is your mood? Or you are ready to listen me for a longer period. किसी एक आदमी को देर तक सुनना बहुत मुश्किल होता है। So when you feel tired, frankly you tell me. Now note down some points. It is an important question from geomorphology. First, what is catastrophism? Catastrophism is a school of thought. Is a school of thought in geomorphology. Which attributes changes in the landforms and earth crust to catastrophic forces to catastrophic forces and extreme events stop this concept was developed by Baron Georges Cuvier in the beginning of the 18th century in the beginning exact year is not known to me but it was I think 1918 1815 you have to check it in the beginning of the 19th century Cuvier was a paleontologist he was actually a man of zoology and his specialization was the study of fossils he was a paleontologist he stated that the disappearance or extinction of species was the result of catastrophic forces like volcanic eruptions deluges d e l u g deluges floods tsunamis and transgression of sea storm in his writings, his writings, he cited the biblical deluge Sorry. 
biblical delude actually in bible and old testament there is a story that during the period of noah muslim call him as hazrat nu there was a big flood and all the living species disappeared hazrat nu made a big boat and one couple of each bird animals and human beings was kept on that boat these were the believers i mean those who were believers they were saved and rest of the things disappeared it is given in bible it is given in holy quran the muslim students know it very well but i am telling this fellow was also a very strong supporter of catholic religion he said there was a deluge and when there was a deluge all living organism they disappeared only things were saved which were on the on the boat of hazrat nu this is the story and he said the disappearing of all the species of living is a sudden process unfortunately he calculated the age of the earth also and he said that the age of the earth is only 75000 years you may ridicule him but anyhow this was his finding catastrophe is sudden change and in bible if you read the thoroughly there are some other things also which should not be written in the examiner because you never know your examiner may be an atheist geographers are generally atheist in all these semitic religious books semitic religions means judaism christianity and islam all these three religions are from southwest asia there is actually a very strong belief that god has created the earth and all the land forms in 7 days aur satve din sab ye leela raj karke waha baitha hua hai waha se observe kar raha this is the belief of the semitic religions it may be judaism it may be christianity it may be islam that creator or brahma created all these things in 7 days and this catastrophism is also influenced by bible he said there was a big deluge big flood which extinct all the living organism except some which were the believer in god and the followers of noha hazrat nu he picked up a pair of all animals and birds put a in a big boat and they were saved otherwise everything disappeared this is catastrophe it means all the land forms which have been created on the earth surface are the result of sudden forces sudden forces you know now opposite to this i mean this approach this philosophy or this scientific approach was totally against uniformitarians now right uniformitarians the concept of uniformitarianism <coughs> was developed by james hutton in 1785 and subsequently the same thing he re he repeated in his book this was a research paper initially then he wrote a book the theory of earth in 1788 yes so he was the propounder of this concept and what this concept says according to hutton the existing land forms are the results of endogenetic and exogenetic forces these forces were active
his idea he convinced his on the earth surface all the land forms on the earth surface are the result of natural forces stop next line this concept was supported by sir charles lyle who propagated the philosophy of uniformitarianism uniformitarianism next line in the opinion of lyell sir lyell he was a britain some of the present dry deserts have been humid in the geological past stop similarly the coal deposits of the coal deposits of siberia russia germany britain and ukraine can be explained only with the principle of uniformitarianism during the carboniferous period during the carboniferous period siberia and european countries were on equator there was dense growth of natural vegetation which got buried under the sedimentary formations resulting into coal seams or coal formations and after writing these this is diagram this is from hutton's book you see he said actually there is cycle from inside the earth there is heat there is eruption of lava lava gets solidified it becomes a rock 
rock is weathered and eroded erosion takes place through the den process of denudation weathering and erosion this erosion of landform the material is transported it may be transported to the sea it may be transported to some other places but generally to the shallow seas like geosynclines so it is transported then it make layers stratification and ultimately again the heat increases and lava erupts it has nothing to do with plate tectonics but the diagram has been taken from hutton's book theory of the earth you can cite the example the notes you are getting from the market may not be having this diagram it is a very simple diagram which explains the lava comes out because there is heat it solidifies it takes the shape of a rock the rock is weathered it becomes the under the impact of denudation weathering and erosion by some agent it is eroded and it is eroded and transported by that agent then finally it goes to the sea in the shallow seas like the geosyncline again there is eruption this cycle you can give in the examiner examination to make your answer different from the answer of others it will save time remember all these diagrams are for your use for your consumption not for the consumption of your friends try to be miserly don't, don't be very generous because if you are giving these diagrams and your competitor is also giving the same diagrams then you may be a loser therefore we should be like a vaid or hakim वैद कभी ये नहीं बताता किस तरह इलाज करता है मरने से पहले बड़े बेटे को बताता है कि ये दवाई थी समरस की वो फार्मूला नहीं बताता हमदर्द का ये एक शरबत आता है क्या रूह अफजा इसको कोई नहीं जानता था कि हकीम अब्दुल हमीद मरने लगे तो मरने से आठ दिन पहले बड़े बेटे को बता दिया कि ये फार्मूला है और ना किसी को बताते नहीं सो यू हैव टू बी सेक्रेटिव बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू बीट अदर्स it is not the question of first division or second division it is a question of rank and rank out of thousands of students there will be minimum 15000 students who will be appearing in your mains examination minimum 3000 may may be more than 3000 may be geography students to apne formula sabko reveal na kijiye sabse share na kijiye ye mera advice hai lekin aap karenge wohi jo aapko karna hai आदमी इमोशनल होता है अपनी सारी चीज़ें किसी ना किसी पर रिवील करना चाहता है और कर दीजिए लेकिन ये भी घाटा हो सकता है कि आपको उसका खुमियाजा भुगतना पड़े आपके नंबर कम आए और जिसको आपने पढ़ाया है उसके नंबर ज़्यादा हैं फिर दोस्ती वोस्ती सब धरी रह जाती है ये पर एक मसूरी पहुँचता है और एक मुखर्जी नगर में रह जाता है इसका ध्यान रखिए आप अपने डायग्राम्स बिकॉज ये टीचर इज़ वेरी सीरियस ही कंसल्टेड द बुक्स एंड ब्रॉड द डाइग्राम्स फॉर यू the diagrams are generally different from other diagrams this point you have to bear baaki aapki marzi hai ek baras rehna hai ya kitne baras yahan rehna hai that is your choice now do you need some yes add some more points the hutton's principle is accepted universally in the physical sciences as well as in the biological sciences the only criticism of this the only criticism of this doctrine is that the magnitude of or intensity of forces differ in geological time i mean somewhere he mentioned that the, the forces which are active today they were active in the past also with the same intensity the intensity has been challenged at some times the endogenetic force strong 
at some point the exogenetic forces are more strong. So this intensity which he said the present forces are working and they were they worked with the same intensity in the past this point was criticized. You know there had been a period known as the Cretaceous period. Cretaceous period about 14 crore years back or about 140 million years back there were volcanic eruptions. Lava was oozing like anything. Even Dakkan lava plateau is the creation of the Cretaceous period. Columbian plateau, Madagascar plateau, the Yemen plateau, they are the creation of that 14 crore years back. Today that intensity is missing. There was a time about 2 million years back which is known as the Pleistocene period. During the Pleistocene period there was ice age, the sea level went down, there was a spread of the ice sheets towards the equator, the temperature fell very low, but today the condition is not the same. It was not the same during the Cretaceous period. So you can criticize, you can add something, but all the experts of science agree with Hutton that present is the key to the past. If H2O is water in chemistry, it was H2O in the past also. If you have certain proportion of H to O. If it is water today, it was water in the past also. So, this is a very important principle of geomorphology which is important from the examination point of view also. In 15 minutes, we have to do it. This is the upper limit for a 15 marks. Otherwise, I expect you will be doing it in 12 minutes with one diagram. Next question. Next is a C, question number 2. Present a concise account of the mesothermal climates. Of, this was from Copin's classification. Actually, after 2008, when the paper setters are asking you to attempt 18 or 19 questions, Copin's classification as a big question is not coming. Because nobody can write this question in 20 minutes. They ask generally C climate or A climate or B climate. C is more popular. And C means temperate conditions. You know the features. I think the climate is a CF. CFB, C summer dry, C winter dry. Describe only these four. You know the regions where they are found. The important thing which has to be underlined somewhere, in the sea climate, F means each month is recording 3 centimeter of rainfall. This is to be underlined. Normally F stands, if it is with A, with a small F, F in tropical regions, in lower latitudes, where the temperature is more than 18 degrees Celsius in each month. Capital A means each month is recording more than 18 degrees Celsius of temperature. Here F means more than 6 centimeter of rainfall in each month. The only difference is when you suffix a small f with C like this, it means more than 3 centimeter. This is to be underlined rest you know. C S means summer dry. Summer dry is Mediterranean. Winter dry, it may be the China type. A, when the temperature is more, it may be in the coastal areas. When it is B, it may be northwest European type. So, give a reading and prepare a note on the C F. If it was not asked last year, I do not remember the paper of last year. In case it was asked last year, you can skip it. Then go for A climate. D will not be asked. D has many subdivisions. The examiner also keep in mind if the examiner is a sensible man. Zyada satyaya hova nahi hai. So he keeps the time frame also in mind. Ke bachche is mein bulash to nahi jayenge ek is wal mein. So this is a simple question. I need not to actually dictate you some points on this. So explain what was this classification, 
Koppens, he deviated, developed a new technique to classify the climate of the world using the English letter, capital A, capital B, capital C, etc. And rest you can mention these four climates. The next question is, discuss the contribution of the Europeans. Once they ask the contribution of the Americans in geomorphology, I thought the paper setter may go for the Europeans contribution. You tried, many of you have written, but your focus was mainly on pank. You have given the pank diagram also. Some of you, pardon? No. Some of you have written some other scholars also. But I will give some points on the Europeans contribution to geomorphology. Note down this. <coughs> The contribution of Europeans <coughs> is quite enormous. In the field of geomorphology, in fact. James Hutton, James Hutton, Chaukre, by the subke tips were on a chair. James Hutton is known as the father of, as the father of geology and geomorphology. He developed the concept of uniformitarianism. Stop. The principle of uniformitarianism was propagated by Sir Charles Lyell in a series of research papers. I mean this geomorphologist Lyell, he also introduced, he also introduced The concept of erratics and ice age. What is erratic? What is erratic? I was expecting you yes. will give the answer. Any student who knows? Bounded, yeah. bounded yes, Deepak, you are correct. Erratics are very big boulders. And listen to me, if you go to Germany, Denmark, in the plain areas where agriculture is being practiced and land is very productive. In, even in Ukraine, in Poland, Ukraine, Germany and Denmark, you will find very big boulders inside in the field. On all sides there are very green fields, agriculture is going on, but in between there is uh, some big boulders like this building. The question arose where these big boulders came in the highly productive plains. Suppose by chance in the Gangetic plain there is a big rock. It is like where it came from. So it was actually this uh, Sir Charles Al who developed the concept of Ice Age and Eretics. He said during the Ice Age, this is about 2 million years, 
अप टू टेन थाउजेंड बीपी नो यस बीपी दिस बीपी इज नॉट ब्लड प्रेशर बिफोर प्रेजेंट मीन्स एट थाउजेंड बीसी प्लस टू थाउजेंड एडी दिस पीरियड इज नोन एज द आई सी एज पीरियड इट वॉज आफ्टर अराउंड एट थाउजेंड बीसी वेन टेम्परेचर इंप्रूव एंड पीपल वॉज एबल टू एडजस्ट ही स्टार्टिड कीपिंग ऑफ गोट शीप एंड डॉग्स फ्रॉम द हंटिंग स्टेज ही एंटर्ड इन टू द एग्रीकल्चर स्टेज दिस इज नोन एज द न्यूलिथिक पीरियड न्यू स्टोन एज वेन एग्रीकल्चर वॉज स्टार्टिड एंड एग्रीकल्चर मीन्स डोमेस्टिकेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो द इरेटिक्स कंसेप्ट ही एट्रीब्यूटेड दैट इन द ग्लेशियल फेज देयर हैड बीन आइस शीट्स दे केम डाउन टूवर्ड साउथ एंड वेन द आइस मेल्टेड दे लेफ्ट दीज बिग बोल्डर्स इन द प्लेन एरिया वेल गोइंग बैक द आइस मेल्टेड एंड दे आर इंजॉइंग और लाइंग और रेस्टिंग इन द हाईली प्रोडक्टिव प्लेन्स ऑफ यूरोपियन कंट्रीज this is the irati so the concept of ice age was developed by him then he said there had been four phases four time is the snow is spread southward and it melted these four phases are still in the books of geomorphology they are known as gunds mindal ris and were these four phases of ice age were also described by them that ice in europe is spread four time downward four time it melted and went backward it, so in one sentence the contribution of europeans about the pleistocene Pleistocene Ice Age is appreciated and recognized by all the geologists. In the ending part of the 19th century, yes, please, you can go. I will say. in the ending part of the 19th century louis did field work in the alps mountains did field work in the alps mountains and concluded that moraines are found moraines are found at lower altitude lower altitude where the swiss farmers are doing cultivation of citrus fruits is to in the beginning of the 20th century albert pank and walter pank criticized william morris davis criticized william morris davis <coughs> and developed a new cycle of erosion known as the pank cycle of erosion a 
Richthofen after Richthofen after the First World War. produced a series of textbooks on geology and geomorphology and after this you write about lc king lc king give a new concept about the development of slope which is based on which is based on the parallel retreat parallel retreat of bank and downward erosion of davis the terms like inselberg the terms like inselbergs were also developed by the europeans next line the first department of geology geography and geomorphology the first departments of geology geomorphology and geography were established in britain and at present the geomorphologists of britain and germany britain and germany are going for the quantitative approach about the development of landforms it may not be coming but in case it come you can take the help of these points and remember only pank is not the answer pank you can appreciate he criticized william morris davis and added or gave a new concept about the cycle of erosion uh, based on waxing but there are many other scholars also you cannot ignore james sutton james sutton is known as the founder of geology plus ge geomorphology that is important so i give the mars to some of you but only pank is not the answer we have to add some more names now one question was on the isostasy isostasy based on archimedes principle law of flotation it is easy but only advice which i want to give to you please give the diagram correct you are very fast in drawing the diagram without bothering that it will be checked by the examiner and examiner is a man of geography so kuch ka to diagram teedha hai kuch ka right hand par hai kuch ka right hand par hai so if it is the case it means you may be losing one mark and for us even one mark is important it will make a lot of difference so i will show you only a diagram so far the isostasy is concerned and all the experts agree that eri was correct parat was not correct the diagram which you can use in your examination for this question only the upper one is required this is aries concept this diagram should have been added down below is the prats concept 
but the difference in your diagram in the diagram which is on the transparency i did only last night is that these blocks are quite big quite wide you see they are not they are just like very slim feather weight they are heavy weight they are quite wide so give four five and put down here cl it is floating the density of all these blocks is the same and the beaker has been in they are actually floating in this one this diagram should be drawn with the help of foot rule foot rule is required free hand drawing nobody will appreciate chahe wo examiner apne time pe kuch bhi karta raha ho agar kisi source se wo line mein lag gaya tha to wo aaj professor hai aur upsc mein examiner bhi hai wo apne ko nahi dekhta he expect you to compete with others by supplementing your answer with good drawing drawing should be good it is a simple diagram and you can impress the examiner here you can use the coloring also because it is to be drawn with the help of foot rule free hand drawing is not and if you have the time again give another diagram this is should be given the upper portion some when uh, some students are given this diagram also actually this is a mountain and the density of the mountain is low because it is made up of silica and aluminum silicates now if you cut this portion or if some agent erode the upper part of the mountains the root will go up it is a, this way it is getting compensated what you see about the ground eight times is below the ground and individual peaks are not compensated it is not the case that mount everest is 8.8 km in height about the sea level the route will be 1 to 9 ratio or 1 to 8 so every there was a clear modification <coughs> by bobby i think he said the whole mass of the himalaya or whole mass of the mountain is compensated and this is actually the compensation if one part is here eight parts is below two simple diagrams can bring you very good marks so there is no need of giving you points because the topic is quite clear to you and now let me pass on to another topic and i have to dictate i think that question little of the earth topography is older than the pleistocene period some students have a confusion i was going through your answer they said himalaya mountain upheaval took place during the pleistocene period himalayan mountains upheaval during the pleistocene period I just told you Pleistocene means two million years. Two million years means twenty lakhs, twenty lakh years. Purana bana diya Himalaya ko. In our knowledge, it is a blunder, and the person will be punished. Saza milegi, zarur milegi. Koi tayar nahi hoga ke Himalaya is only twenty lakh years purana hai. It is sixty million years old. Old. and it is not the pleistocene period it is the tertiary period when the upheaval was started upheaval was started during the tertiary period jisne ye pleistocene likha hai mujhe pata nahi kisne likha hai lekin teen ladkon ne likha hai teeno dost lagte hain ya ek hi jagah se misguided lagte hain upheaval was 60 no 60 million years back aur tab ja kar ke he is one of the youngest mountains kehte 11 saal umr hai himala ki 
जबकि अरावली की उम्र 60 साल है ये रिटायर्ड है दोनों के एज को डिफरेंस कीजिए हिमालय इज 11 इयर्स एडोलिसेंस में वो टीन एज में नहीं अभी और ये बूढ़ा लेटा हुआ है 60 साल का है तो ये कह सकता है हिमालय को कि तुम क्या बात करते हो अरे हमने देखा है दुनिया को 60 करोड़ बरस पुरानी हमारी उम्र है कट छट के नीचे आ गए हैं तुम भी आ जाओगे छः करोड़ के हो छः करोड़ बरस में यू विल बी लाइक अर्स तो जिसने ये ब्लेंडर की है ऐसी नहीं करनी चाहिए जहाँ नहीं आता इम्प्रेस करने की कोशिश ना कीजिए कि मुझे टर्मिनोलॉजी आती है जियोलॉजिकल टाइम स्केल की वो किसी को नहीं आती याद ही नहीं रहती अगर आपको यही कहें कि हिमालय बीस साल बीस लाख बरस पुराना है तो फिर तो आपके नंबर कटेंगे ये बेहतर है कि आप अपनी इग्नोरेंस जाहिर ना कीजिए डोंट ट्राई टू राइट ए थिंग विच इज यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट नंबर उस पर नहीं कटेंगे यू हैव कंसील्ड योर सेल्फ यहाँ सांप को भी मारना है लाठी टूटने नहीं देनी है इस पर हो सकता है आपको जीरो दे दे कि इसको क्या आई एस बनाए इसको ये भी पता नहीं हिमालय माउंटेन कितना पुराना है प्लीज डोंट डू दिस टाइप ऑफ मिस्टेक मुझे नहीं पता किसी की कापी है कहाँ से वो गाइडेंस उसने लिए है लेकिन इसका आंसर आप लिख लीजिए लिटिल ऑफ द अर्थ टोपोग्राफी इज ओल्डर देन द टर्सरी इफ इन केस इट इज कम देखिये बीस नंबर का इनमें से आना ही है जो मैं ये बकवास कर रहा हूं वो भी खास तौर से प्रिंसिपल ऑफ जियोमोर्फोलॉजी उसमें से मिनिमम बीस नंबर का आना है और ये बीस नंबर डिसाइडिंग हो जाते हैं कहीं किसी का छुट जाते हैं कोई उल्टा सीधा लिखता है और हर साल ये आते जरूर है कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ जियोमोर्फोलॉजी नॉट द सिंप्लिसिटी ये किसी ना किसी तरह घूम करके आते रहते हैं तो इसमें क्या लिखना चाहिए इट इन केस दिन इज ए क्वेश्चन ऑन द ऑन दिस दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑन द अर्थ आर जूनियर इन एज दे डेवलप्ड आफ्टर द प्लास्ट्रोसिन पीरियड एंड प्लास्ट्रोसिन इज ओनली टू मिलियन ईयर्स और ट्वेंटी लैक ईयर्स नोट डाउन द पॉइंट द वेरी ओल्ड the very old land forms belonging to the pre cambrian period comma cambrian cambrian period and carboniferous period are rarely observed on the earth surface stop in case they are found they are partly exposed and largely buried under the sedimentary formations is continue according to the geomorphologist according to the geomorphologist comma most of the land forms are younger in age and developed after the ice age next line in the opinion of ashley in the opinion of ashley 90% of the present day land forms developed 
developed after the tertiary period tertiary period is and 99% 99% developed after the ice age next line it is true that many of the geological structures are much older in age like the appalachian mountains aravallis etc but they are exceptions stop most of the existing folded mountains like himalayas rockies andes developed after the tertiary period stop during the ice age they were covered under ice and therefore eroded and weathered after the melt after the melting of ice for example the northern plains of india the plains of eastern china the plains of north and south america australia are the results of post pleistocene period this axiom of thornbury this principle of thornbury written in geomorphology is valid stop more in fact most of the land forms of the earth surface are post pleistocene and here you can stop next question this was 15 mars geostrophic gears actually in the oceans there are oceans there are some valves and gears because of the movement of surface surface water because of the surface water movement in the form of ocean currents in all their number is 5 some authors have written that there are 6 gears and these gears are north atlantic gear south atlantic gear 
साउथ इंडियन ओशन गेयर एंड टू आर इन द पैसिफिक ओशन दीज गेयर्स डेवलप बिकॉज ऑन द वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ ईच ओशन देर इज ए वार्म वाटर करंट ऑन द ईस्टर्न साइड ऑफ ईच ओशन देर इज ए कोल्ड वाटर करंट एंड इन द साउथ दे आर बाउंडेड बाई द इक्वेटोरियल करंट सो दे मेक ए सर्किल लाइक दिस दिस टाइप ऑफ गेयर्स आर फाउंड इन ऑल द ओशन फाइव इज द आंसर बिकॉज इन द नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन ओशन वी हैव लैंड देर इज नो सी बट गैरिसन मैंशन देर इज ए सिक्स गेयर ऑल्सो ई सेट अराउंड अंटार्कटिका दिस इज अ कंप्लीट साइकिल all around the antarctic ocean garrison who is known as actually a very important oceanographer he said there is a sixth gear also the water of the south i mean this antarctic antarctic ocean or south ocean is circling around the antarctic this is the most important thing is if you examine these ocean currents on the western side there is speed is more they are narrow on the western side they are deep narrow and the velocity or speed of water is high on the eastern side of the gear there are cold water currents they are wide and shallow in the south they are bounded by the equatorial currents so you can describe these are the five gears and it was a simple question any book can help you in writing the answer of this but a map is required showing the position of these in five important gears in the oceans of the world the next climatic significance if the the part of a gear is warm current then the climate of the adjacent countries is affected if the a country is having a cold current on the eastern side is a part of the gear then desert formation results so the life and climate and weather conditions of the adjacent countries or the littoral countries is affected by the presence of this different types of ocean currents indirectly what is the effect of the warm current and the cold current next one <coughs> answers of a short note this climate and phenology yes please ये इसमें ऊपर है क्या क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री अच्छा थर्ड सी रेडियंट इन्वर्जन मींस ग्राउंड इन्वर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर द इन्वर्जन विच टेक प्लेस बिकॉज ऑफ द रेडिएशन i use the word radiant inversion inversion is of different type but only radiant inversion was asked the heat which is received by the earth surface it is sent back to the atmosphere many a times the ground becomes cool relatively that is known as ground or radiant inversion of temperature so the first temp sentence if you want to note down the points you can say the normally Note down the sentence. Normally, the temperature decreases while ascending in the atmosphere. At the rate of six point four degree. Per thousand meter, this is known as lapse rate. It is standard, though it varies from place to place, from locality to locality, from day to night, from latitude to latitude. But the climatologists have standardized that the standard lapse rate in the troposphere is 6.4 degrees Celsius. Right? Next sentence. In case. the temperature is start ascending in the 
in the troposphere that is known as inversion of temperature. These two sentences are required. The inversion may be of different types. like ground inversion upper altitude inversion and frontal inversion fronts cold front and war front frontal inversion but the required conditions for the radiant inversion, inversion have been given in the following. Number one, what are the actually conditions which are required for the ground inversion of temperature or radiant inversion of temperature? Number one, long winter nights, lumbi thandi rate, very poetic, romantic also. Lambi thandi rate, long winter night. Number two, calm atmosphere. Pura poet ka atmosphere banda hai. Atmosphere should be shant or calm. And if the wind is blowing, it should be gentle breeze. There should not be mixing of air. Number three, dry air. Because if there is moist air, there is more water vapor. Water vapor means water plus heat that will disturb the process of radiation. So, dry wind is also required. Number four, blue sky. In bracket, anticyclonic conditions. In books, you, it is written, there should not be any cloud. If there is cloud, the heat going back will be checked by the clouds and inversion will not occur. So, another condition is there should be cloudless sky or anticyclonic condition or we call simply as blue sky. And lastly, in point number 5, snow covered surface. S snow covered surface. If the surface is covered with ice, the temperature is in minus, above the temperature is more, automatically this is. So, these five points in brief are to be mentioned. In ko chhod ye nahi, bahut asaan hai. And after writing this, give a diagram. Aap mein se kisi ne inversion dikha hai, to wo not only troposphere, in the stratosphere, mesosphere, exosphere tak le gaya hai. All weather phenomena are confined to the troposphere. Humko isi se kaam lena hai. Because cloud formation, blowing of wind, horizontal, vertical, turmoil weather, or it may be thunder, lightning, rainfall, snowfall, sleet, everything is only in the troposphere. So, give the diagram only of troposphere. And the diagram is with you. Valley inversion and uh, radiant earth surface inversion is the same. Valley bhi to dharti pe hai, to dharti pe rahi hai. It is not bad. So, see this diagram. On the x axis is the temperature 0 degree, 5 degree, 10 degree. 5 degree, 10 degree. On the left hand side minus 5, minus 10, minus 15. Here is the height. So, normally temperature decreases like this at the rate of 6.4 degrees Celsius. This is known as the lapse rate. As you go up into the troposphere, the temperature decreases. But if the reverse takes place, 
that is known as inversion. You see in this diagram the temperature is not decreasing, it is increasing. Here it was about 2 degree, it has become 5, 6, it may be 10, 12 degree. So, this diagram very clearly shows what is the reverse direction of temperature going up. It is increasing. When the temperature start increasing into the atmosphere, that is known as the inversion of temperature. This diagram and remember it was 10 marks question. After this you should give the social relevance of inversion. Give a heading. What is the significance of inversion of temperature? How it affects the society? That is important and many of you never write a sentence which is required. What is the importance? What is the significance? What is the social relevance of inversion of temperature? Number one. Inversion leads to foggy conditions, fog and fog is cloud around the close to the earth, fog is also a cloud. The only difference is when it is above we call it as a cloud, when it is along the ground we call it as a fog. So, if the fog is dense, the means of transportation are disturbed, you can add. If the fog is dense, the means of transportation get delayed. The take of aeroplanes, the arrival of trains, all these transportation are delayed. You can manage it yourself. Unfortunately, on the highways, on the roads there, the frequency of accidents is high. So, your hospitals, emergency, emergency services alert. If there is an inversion of condition, then the number of cases of accident increases. Try to be very brief because it is only short note. One point is fog leads to many problems in the society. Number two, some of the crops, some of the crops are adversely affected. Especially vegetables, chili, hari mirch, chili, sugar cane and citrus fruits. You know whenever there is a fog, the meteorological department of the respective country advise the farmer please irrigate your field, provide water to the crop because if there is water in the field the temperature will increase, it is not frozen, fog may lead to a frost condition. So this is the crops are damaged and in the sugar cane there develops a disease known as red rod, ganna andar se lal ho jata hai. When there is a red rod disease, the sugar content diminishes and my students know it very well. I said northwest Uttar Pradesh is not suitable for the cultivation of sugar cane. Those the largest number of factories are in northwest UP. It is not suitable for the cultivation of sugar cane because winters are severe and fog is frequent. The chances of red rod are very high our sugar yield is very low as compared to the sugar cane of Maharashtra, sugar cane of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and other is Andhra Pradesh or Telangana. The recovery from the sugar cane is in the ratio of 12 quintal of sugar cane is equal to 1 quintal of sugar in Merit division I am saying or Ambala division or Rohilkan division. While in South India this ratio is 6 quintal of sugar cane is equal to 1 quintal of sugar. Because in South India there is no fog, the conditions are bad. In Northern Indian plains, fog is frequent and this question was asked in your GS paper that why sugar, in, sugar industry is shifting towards south, south of the Indian mountain? The answer lies in this type of question. In Northern India there is inversion of temperature. In the winter season, especially in December, January and February, there may be 
dense fob and this fob is injurious to sugar cane the sugar uh, recovery is low anyhow the second point was some of the crops are damaged <coughs> in the countries of temperate in the in the countries of temperate latitudes where the frequency of fog is very high will not be comfortable unless you are the central heating system that's why all the farmers of the mediterranean region especially you can mention the rhone valley in france and rhone valley is known for citrus fruits these we will have all houses above 600 meter above the sea level and the orchards are also at higher altitude and any farmer who is having his land below 600 feet they develop special devices how to control the fog or how to get rid of the fog they burn fossil fuel in their orchards they burn the motor in these motor tires and many of them are having the helicopters also to hover over the orchards to increase the temperature in such detail you need not to go because it is only 10 marks question but i am telling the development of settlement is also affected by the occurrence or non occurrence of the settlement and last point the if the health and efficiency the health and efficiency of the people is affected by foggy condition <coughs> the regions having more foggy weather report more cases of breathing problems and you can stop here kyun bhai inversion ho gaya aapka taiyar who was the, the person who asked me the inversion is skipped किताबों में कुछ भी लिखे आपका आंसर ऐसे आना चाहिए इट इज टाइम सेविंग टू द पॉइंट विद डायग्राम एंड डेफिनेटली विल बी रिवार्डेड यू विल गेट बेटर मार्क्स ज्यादा लिखने से ज्यादा नंबर नहीं आते काम की बातें लिखने पे नंबर आते हैं आपको कम लिखना है डायग्राम देने और पॉइंट्स देने फॉर टेन मार्क्स आई थिंक दिस मच इज सफिशियंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मैंशन इन द वर्ल्ड देर आर सम एरिया विच रिकॉर्ड डेंस वर्क and i can give you the name also in case it is a 15 marks question you can add all the areas of the world we are which are to the east of cold water currents all the countries which are to the east of cold water currents they record more fog in temperate latitudes the southern slopes record more fog in the plain areas where irrigation is missing they also record more foggy conditions and you can highlight on a map you can show any cold water current is the area of dense fog there is a city known as 
Los Angeles here, the second biggest city of USA. It is very foggy. People never open their windows. उन्हें फ्रेश एयर नहीं चाहिए. Because if they open the window, the fog will enter, and it will be a problem for them. On the eastern side of the Canary Current, it is also very dense fog area. Bengal Current, Namibia, coastal area, very foggy, and northern part of Chile, plus Peru, it is again a very foggy area. And fog is recorded on the western side of Australia also. Perth, you can mention all these things. It is very simple. You can explain if it is a 15 marks question, but these points are to be. Written in a short note. Now pass on to next question. This was climate and phenology. Pardon? Pardon? Laws of atmospheric circulation be पढ़ाना है. ये तो हमने अपनी रेगुलर बैच में अभी पढ़ा है एक्चुअली देर आर फोर फाइव लार्ज ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर सर्कुलेशन ये मैंने पूछ लिया था लेकिन ये आएगा नहीं चूंकि कभी आया नहीं बट आई कैन इन ब्रीफ टेल यू द लार्ज ऑफ एटमोस्फेयर सर्कुलेशन इसका मतलब हम ज्यादा पढ़ाते हैं हमारे बच्चों को कभी ये प्रॉब्लम नहीं एक्चुअली द एटमोसफियर लोअर पार्ट ऑफ द एटमोसफियर इज नोन एज ट्रोपोस्फियर एंड इट इज फील्ड विद डेंस गैसेस इट इज आल्सो नोन एज होमोस्फियर मिक्सचर ऑफ गैसेस सो दीज गैसेस आर नॉट स्टेशनरी दे मूव फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर एंड रिजल्ट इन टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ विंड्स दीज आर एक्चुअली atmospheric circulation movement of gases from one place to another place but these gases follow some principles these principles are known as the principles of atmospheric circulation and four five principles i can explain to you number 1 there are some forces number 1 the gravitational force atmosphere is is attached to the earth because of gravity all gases they rotate along with the earth's rotation write one line on this the first law is the law of gravitation our atmosphere is attached to the earth because of gravity isme mujhe kya padhana hai you know much more than myself you are the student you are a student of science so first is the law of gravity <coughs> or gravitational force the second force is <coughs> pressure gradient force air blows from high pressure to low pressure very simple if there are two areas one having high pressure isobars the second is having low pressure wind will blow from high pressure to low pressure simple this is known as the pressure gradient force this is the air pressure this is high it is low so always the high pressure is the supplier and it is going towards the low pressure area it is a universal law wind blows from high pressure to low pressure the third is coriolis force or deflective force on a rotating earth and earth is rotating on a rotating earth 
the wind in northern hemisphere gets deflected towards right and in the southern hemisphere it gets deflected towards left if there is a low pressure area here or doldrum and the high pressure is at 30 degree north air from low pressure will become warm and light it will go up and there is no vacuum in the atmosphere if this air is ascending wind from this high pressure and this high pressure will come to the low pressure area because wind blows from high pressure towards low pressure but it will not come straight it will get deflected towards right in the northern hemisphere and towards south no towards left in the southern hemisphere uh virender wait i will be coming after 5 minutes so this is because of the deflective force of the earth if you see the latitudes <coughs> all latitudes are not of equal length earth is spherical in shape the biggest latitude is the equator also known as the great circle here the speed at equator is 16.58 km per hour earth is rotating at this speed on equator and on equator the speed is maximum as you go towards north or towards south the length of latitude decreases it decreases to the extent that at north pole and south pole the speed is zero by chance if you are standing at the north pole which is not possible but imagine you are at the north pole in 24 hours your face will change your feet will be at the pole on equator the speed is so much so if any air comes from this it will get deflected this is the point this is known as the coriolis effect or the deflective force this principle applies to all the moving things it may be air it may be water it may be ocean currents the ocean currents also get deflected towards right in the northern hemisphere and towards south in the southern hemisphere see again on this side to make this point more clear there is another low pressure area here known as sub polar high uh, low pressure area wind from here also goes to this but it gets deflected towards right known as the south west or the westerlies if this point is not clear still read and see rt book this is the third force is the coriolis force the direction of wind is determined by the coriolis force also even the ocean currents are determined the direction by this the fourth one is frictional force on the this frictional force is very significant on continents on land because on land we have mountains forests buildings undulating topography maybe buildings undulating topography maybe valleys and gorges if the air reaches that point it get deflected the any law will not apply then this barrier physical barrier create some problem the wind get deflected according to the physical barrier if there is a multi story building and the air is coming from east or west this building will create an obstacle 
or physical barrier in the path of the wind, the wind will get deflected. This is known as the frictional force. The frictional force is less on the ocean bodies because oceans are leveled. One thing. The frictional force is less in the upper part also because the gases are light. And the last is Bias Bellet Law. This scientist said that if you are standing in the northern hemisphere, north of equator, and your back is on the side from where the wind is coming, suppose the wind is coming from this side, on the left hand side will be low pressure, on the right hand side will be high pressure. This is known as Bias Bellet Law. And another law is about the geostrophic wind. It applies to the upper part of the troposphere. In the upper part of the troposphere, the gradient force, high pressure to low pressure, and the deflective force are at par to each other. If there is high pressure here, low pressure here, wind goes from this side to this. But there is a deflective force also, known as the Kerouillis force. One isobar is here, I have another here. That is equivalent to the gradient force. Consequently, in the upper part of the atmosphere, the wind blows parallel to the isobar. Parallel, not actually high to low. It will be parallel to the isobar, the jet steam, the cross B waves. It is all these like this. So, this question I asked, since it's never been asked in the examination, I was not expecting you will be raising this question. But these are the five, six important laws which determine the direction of a movement of gases known as winds. Now, I can understand from your faces, you are tired and we haven't discussed even half of the paper. In case you want to discuss the remaining part of the first paper, then let us have a break for 15 minutes. Again, we can assemble. You enjoy something, a cup of tea or whatsoever you like in the hope that we will be meeting again. Because this test series is a serious business. It is not that paper is given by somebody. Evaluation is done by some students who are doing their test series with me. There are some students who are here registered as test series students. They are among you and they are doing the evaluation in other coaching center. I feel very exhausted even after checking 50 an 15 answer books in about 10, 15 days. And they are checking 400, 500 answer books. I don't know how actually they are doing this business. I think the teacher is not evaluating. Some assistants or the students are doing the business, but that is a wrong approach. We want to actually limit the number of students in the test series. It is very expensive. Sasti nahi hai. Bahut mehengi hai. Lekin we want to justice with this amount. कोई मिनिस्टर की सिफारिश ला रहा है कोई मेरे रिश्तेदार की ला रहा है सर इसको और एकोमोडेट कर लीजिए इसको और ले लीजिए देयर आर सम प्रॉब्लम कुछ अच्छे स्टूडेंट हमें लगते हैं उनको हम खुद ही चाहते हैं बिकॉज़ दे विल डेफिनेटली गिव द गुड रिजल्ट इसलिए नंबर काफी हो गया है इस बार 250 इज द अपर लिमिट फॉर अस टू डू इवैल्यूएशन प्रॉपर इवैल्यूएशन एंड आई विश आई मे डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस आल्सो हाउ द पेपर इज टू बी अटेम्प्टेड इन द एग्जामिनेशन all, uh, all right, we will be meeting again after 15 minutes. Please take rest and come back because it's already more than three hours we are sitting here. After 15 minutes, rest of the time I will devote to other questions. Rohit, you have to understand one thing. The number is less than the interview. The interview is less than the interview. Why? Is it smart or not? And what is the feeling of Anand? 
नहीं मुझे पता है उसके जोग्राफी में कैसे मैं उसे कितनी बार कहा राइटिंग सुधारू वो अच्छा होशियार लड़का है मैं बता दू लेकिन वो राइटिंग के लपेट में आया हुआ है क्लास में कितनी बार उसे कहा है इफ यू रिमेम्बर कौन अच्छा नहीं मैंने उसे बहुत कहा हैंड राइटिंग सुधार लो या आई को भूल जाओ मैं यही से ही कह देता हूँ ब्लंट चूंकि आई आई टी कानपुर बहुत होशियार बच्चा है लेकिन लिखने का चोर है खूब काटता है बुरी तरह काटता है कापी में वो तो भी यहाँ काटता है एग्जामिनर्स को वहां काटता है ये तो ऐसी बिजनेस है इसलिए जिनकी हैंड राइटिंग सही है दैट इज ए बिग प्लस इन आई एस एग्जामिनेशन इवन विद लेस नॉलेज यू कैन सिक्योर बेटर मार्क्स सी यू ये सब पॉइंट सीक्रेट अंदर की बात हर एक नहीं बताएगा आई विल डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो This is a short note. Question number five, part A. Climate and phenology. This is not an important question, but since it is in the paper, let me give you some points on this question also. क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव पार्ट ए क्लाइमेट एंड फिनोलॉजी नोट डाउन सम पॉइंट्स प्लीज दो आई नो इट विल नॉट बी कमिंग इट वाज सेट इन द पेपर टू रिड्यूस माय वर्क आई वाज नोइंग इट विल नॉट बी अटेम्प्टेड सो आई विल नॉट हर्ट टू चेक दिस शॉर्ट नोट नोट डाउन द पॉइंट्स फेनोलॉजी is the science that deals to climate and periodic events periodic events of plants and animals it deals with the dates of germination of seeds the dates of germination of seeds period of growth of plants and animals dates of flowering 
dates of flowering of crops and ripening of fruits and cereals all these data and dates depend on climate and weather conditions for example maize crop maize crop matures in 60 days in equatorial region 90 days in subtropical regions one eighty days in north west european region and eleven months eleven months in sub arctic regions in bracket scotland next line at a given location at a given location the period between planting the period between planting and harvesting is not a specific number of days a specific number of days comma it is the availability of temperature and energy which determines which determine the cycle of crops next line the time required to achieve maturity is also a function of length of day length of day or photo period stop in general a crop sown in early spring a crop sown in early spring in bracket spring wheat bracket close takes more number of days to mature stop in temperature in temperate latitudes the days are shorter in winter and spring consequently the crops get longer period to mature this will not be coming river capture you know what is river capture should i discuss river capture also i wish i may show you the diagram 
rest you know in the youth stage of cycle of erosion of davis this feature is a feature of the youth stage river capture nadi nadi ki chori karti hai aadmi aadmi ki karta hai nadi nadi ki karti hai so when one river is steal the water of another river that is known as river capturing or river piracy and it is a feature of the youth stage in the normal cycle of erosion if two rivers are flowing at different slopes one at gentle slope the another at steep slope please in the youth stage if you remember normal cycle of erosion a river does two type of activity downward cutting and headward cutting downward cutting is to deepen the valley making it v shaped or gorge shape but each river does the headward cutting also if a river is originating suppose there is a river in the youth stage in the youth stage it will deepen its course the more it make dips the more water will be coming in it another river may be here so one function of a small river in the youth stage is to deepen the valley secondly it extends its length it will be reaching in this area because the deep valley has developed water of the neighboring area will also be coming into this it is known as headward erosion cutting towards the source so there is a possibility these two rivers may be extended their headward erosion finally the powerful and powerful is the river which is blowing at a faster pace on a steeper slope that will steal the water of another river it is known as river capture or river piracy and the source of one river will be cut it will its length will be reduced and the same thing has been shown on a diagram you have given the diagram some diagrams were very good and a good mars also but same diagrams are just samajh to lijiye aap agar aapko samajh aaye mera diagram padh ke dikhaiye kuch aise diagram hai un pe number number nahi milenge time waste karne se koi fayda nahi if you give the diagram the diagram so should be a relevant diagram suitable diagram and properly labeled i will show you the diagram which is i think which may be useful in the case of short note on river capture this diagram i borrowed from hamblin and you can give the name of at present he is one of the leading geomorphologist he is an american and his book is geo system give the reference just to be fool the examiner you never saw it you will never see it it is very expensive about 6000 rupees but tell i have read the hamblin also it is published in 2012 these are some tricks to misguide the examiner that my knowledge is updated you are outdated so give the reference with authenticity but this should not go in geographical thought he is not a man of geographical thought he is a man of geomorphology the geo system is the book so and see he gave the very beautiful diagram to explain the river capture
first see the left hand diagram A part. There are two rivers, one is going toward this side, <coughs> another is coming to this side. This slope is steeper, that slope is gentle and in this world the gentle has to suffer. So, this river <coughs> is doing downward cutting and headward cutting also extending its channel. <coughs> Finally, it will merge here. The moment this river merges here, it will divert the this water into its channel. So, this has been <coughs> cut from here. The river has captured the water of the neighboring river known as river capture or river piracy. They developed a elbow. The shape of this river has become like this. It is known as the elbow of the river. And the place where it did the capturing, where I am putting the doors, this land form is known as or the area where the river has captured the water as wind gap. The term wind gap is associated with running water. Once a question was asked in the PT examination. The term wind gap is associated with wind action, running water, glacier or sea wave. So, it is a feature in the running water, wind gap. So, give this diagram and in the Himalayas we can find it, we can find it in the Mekong river. Some rivers in the Andes are also having river capturing the tributaries of the Colorado. This much is sufficient, give the diagram and disappear. But this stage will not perpetuate. Finally, over the period of time, in the period of time maybe several thousand years, it will enter into the mature stage, the situation may change. So, river piracy or river capture is a land form of the youth stage folded, found in the folded mountains, where one river is moving faster and another is gentle. So, give these diagrams and feel comfortable. What is the next? Neuritic deposits, they are shallow water deposits and shallow water deposits are on the continental shelf and continental flow. They may be of both types, abiotic and biotic. On the continental shelf, the material is coming from land, either running water or sea waves or any other agent or glacier bringing these deposits. There is a gradation. The bigger particles are close to the sea coast as you go deep down, the particles become finer and finer. This is. But on the continental shelf, we have the biotic deposits also. It is a mixture of the two. Because all the important fishing grounds of the world are on continental shelf. It may be Dogger Bank, it may be George Bank, it may be Grand Bank or any bank. Fish is enough. And after their death, they get deposited on them. So, it is a easy question. I do not want to consume your time on this. Next one is transverse ocean current. Some students who brought the answer sheet from home, their answer is correct. Those who wrote here in the classroom, they gave the wrong answer and they suffered. You are rewarded because you could write better answer from your home. Marks are given on the written material. So, you got good mass. But transverse, the ocean currents which move from east to west in the equatorial region, they are known as the transverse ocean currents. And if you like, I can dictate two, three sentences, not more than that. transverse currents. The surface ocean currents, 
that flow from east to west are known as the transverse ocean currents stop the transverse ocean currents are the results of convergence are the results of convergence of trade winds in the intertropical convergence zone stop the trade winds push the water westward in the form of north equatorial current and south equatorial current in the atlantic ocean in the atlantic ocean pacific ocean and indian ocean next line in the temperate latitudes the anti trade winds or the westerlies push the water north eastward they are also known as the transverse currents these ocean currents transfer heat in lower latitudes from east to west and in temperate latitudes from west to east consequently the western parts of all the oceans the western parts of all the oceans in lower latitudes are more warm stop in opposition to this in the temperate latitudes the well, the eastern parts of the oceans are more warm as compared to the western parts and i think this much is sufficient it is short note given my showing the north equatorial current south equatorial and kuro shiv going towards norway no no gulf stream going towards norway or kuro shiv giving going towards alaska this is the answer of this short note next divergent and convergent plate margin it is easy i need not to discuss there are three different types of movements of the plates divergent margin where oceanic ridges are created new land is created under water convergent where these are destructive plates where one plate goes under the another plate there are three different type of diagram you can give so i need not to waste your time on the divergent and convergent plate boundaries convergence mean destruction of plates and divergent means construction of new land sub oceanic ridges 
describe the major landforms resulting from the wind in hot desert. It is a descriptive question. Show some erosional feature and some deposition features. Diagrams. Erosional features are like mushroom, demoiselles, to, to or some other features. I am not recalling all. Then sand dunes may be barhans, longitudinal sand dunes, transverse sand dunes, parabolic sand dunes, loess, etc. You can plot all these things. It was an easy question, but in some of the answer books, the trans, the longitudinal sand dunes, known as SAF, have not been properly shown. Examiner knows it. You cannot be fooled, the examiner. SAF are known as longitudinal sand dunes. They are parallel to each other, may be elongated for 1 kilometer or more than 1 kilometer, but their height is less. They are known as Dudhari Talwar or Saif. Saif is a actor. In the Persian name is Dudhari Talwar. If somebody starts walking on Saif, they are actually like this. If somebody starts walking barefoot, in the middle portion of the sand dune, the sand is coarse, it bites and the feet may start bleeding. That is why in the Arabic language, not Persian, Arabic language, the longitudinal sand dunes are known as Saif. Saif Dudhari Talwar ko kehte hain and this is the diagram for that one. They may be parallel to each other. So, in the desert area, people generally walk through this route, not at the ridges of the sand dunes. Please do the correction, because I have checked that someone has made it is better not to give the diagram instead of giving a wrong diagram. Savanna biome is easy and unfortunately, some of you plotted the Congo Basin and Amazon Basin as Savannah region. It is away from the equatorial biome. So, keep and consult the book. This is found in the Venezuela also. The next question was about discuss the configuration of the Atlantic Ocean. It is very easy. In the config configuration, we see what is under the water. Each one of you have given good diagrams, but labeling in some answers was wrong. Challenger Ridge or Challenger Rise is in the Southern Hemisphere. Some one of you have written is in the Northern Hemisphere. Then Dolphin in the Southern, so Dolphin is in the Northern. So I will show you one diagram, how to label the mid oceanic ridge of the Atlantic Ocean. try to give the map of the Atlantic Ocean. This is Africa, a part of Europe, part of North America and part of uh, almost full of South America. It is in between these is the Atlantic Ocean and the ridge is S shape like this. If we are using black ink and if we are fond of coloring, the outline should be with black and orange may be showing the ridge. This contrast is very attractive. Or go for the pencil. The labeling should also be with the pencil. And this is actually Challenger Rice, Dolphin Rice. Then this is a Plateau, Rio, Grande and Valvis. These are the actually under water mountains in the Atlantic Ocean. There are some basins, some oceanic trenches. Per chance there are only three ocean trenches in this one. One is the Puerto Rico which I could not mention. One is here Romancho and I think Sands, South Sandwich that is the third one. 
put their names. Plus the names of some of the important basins and forget. It is just a descriptive. It is a divergent region, so continental shelf are wider in this area. Then next, what is the next question please? How far plate tectonics explain the origin of the folded mountains? By this structure, I have answer ka mujhe pasand nahi aaya. Yeah, we, or you took it casually. In the beginning, you have to introduce plate tectonics. This theory of plate tectonics explain actually the drift of continents, and re it removed the weakness of Wagner. That part is one. But this theory also explains the origin of folded mountains. After introducing this topic, after one paragraph, pass on directly on the how this theory explains the origin of folded mountains. The first sentence should be all the folded mountains, note down, all the folded mountains originate. originate along the convergent boundaries or convergent margins. Stop. The convergence is possible in three types. Number one, oceanic plate with continental plate. One plate is oceanic, the second is continental, and you know this is a typical case of the Nazca plate and the South American Andes mountain plate. So here you can put the example itself, Andes mountains, Andes are folded. This is one convergence, so di a diagram will be required here also. The Nazca plate is going under the Andes mountains of South America leading to the formation of Andes mountains or Andes folded mountains. Remember in the Andes mountains you have the earthquakes as well as volcanic eruption because the de denser plate is going much deeper. The second convergence is <coughs> continental plate with with continental plate. Both the plates are land or continent. For example, the subcontinent of India and the Eurasian plate. They are converging at Himalayas, the Himalayan mountains. Are the result of convergence of continental plate with the continental plate? The interesting thing when both the plates are land plate made of sial, silicate, silica and aluminum, both are lighter. So none of the two plates goes much deep down into the asthenosphere. So it does not melt because there is laugh buoyancy. Both are lighter. They never reach the asthenosphere. And if they are not reaching the asthenosphere, there is no chance of melting. When the melting is not taking place, there is no formation of magma. Therefore, in the Himalayas, there is never a volcanic eruption. Lava is not coming. So, this, the lava buoyancy prevails. The third possibility is the 
convergence of both plates are oceanic as you are having the philippine plates the japanese plate or the ring of fire in these cases both plates are denser so this type of situation where both plates are oceanic plates a confused topography of mountains develop that is known as festoons or confused mountains the mountains may be zigzag without having any alignment if you see the mountains of japan there is no orientation or alignment in the case of india we have the shivalik range or the outer himalayas the lesser himalayas the greater himalayas from west to east but in japan the mountains are in a directionless mountains they are because in the oceanic case you never know which part will be going down the denser goes down when both the plates are denser where the magnesium will be more that will be going down therefore there is a direction less mountain folded mountains development in the pacific ocean and you can cite the example of the mountains of japan mountains of philippines mountains of celebes mountains of borneo and mountains of indonesia and new guinea all these mountains are of that type so i think this much is sufficient you have to give the diagram three diagrams here also convergence of continental with continental plate convergence with oceanic with continental plate and convergence of the oceanic with the oceanic i will be teaching to my students this topic next week i think so this was about the origin of folded mountains and in the last add one sentence when you are finishing the theory of plate tectonics the theory of plate tectonics has the status in geology and geo geomorphology as charles darwin's theory charles darwin's theory origin of his species in the biological sciences it explains the drift of continents origin of folded mountains origin of earthquakes development of coral formations etc submarine canyon remember it was a short note actually just before the first world war the oceanographers when developed the radio sounding technique to measure the depth they found there are many deep gorges on the floor of the oceans they are just like the u v shaped valleys on the ground in the mountains some of them are very steep sided so the immediate reaction was that they are the result of the river action because in the glacial period during the pleistocene period the sea level went down when sea level went down more coast was available more land was available the rivers cut this and this point was actually supported by the congo submarine canal and st lawrence submarine hudson submarine canyon so there are two concepts about the origin of this 
some marine canyons in one sentence these are the valley like formation under water in the oceans they are known as the submarine canyons or submarine valleys there are two school of thought there are five six the book you are reading but if there is a short note you try to write only two important concept about the origin of the submarine canyons one is the river action in some books it has been written as glacial control the sea level depends on temperature whenever there is a ice age on the earth surface the sea level goes down if ice melts the sea level rises so during the pleistocene period during the ice age period right from about 2 million years back 2 million years back the sea level went down by about 100 meters some scholars say it was 100 to 300 meters from the present sea level when this sea level went down the rivers like congo river hudson river they cut their their valleys on the continental shelf later on the ice melted that went underwater so this is one concept but in 1925 this concept was challenged saying some of the oceanic some of the submarine canyons are as deep as 1000 meter some of them are 3000 meters 3 kilometers deep and sea level never been so low throughout the history of the earth the sea level never been so low how to explain such deep gorges such deep canyon on the continental slope so by chance the experts were able to find the solution they <coughs> develop another concept known as the turbidity currents turbidity con concept and this this was by chance i was telling to my students in the class that some good researches are the result of by chance these dukke mein achhi research ho jati hai newton was sitting under a tree and he discovered the law of gravitation sabhi jate hain bathroom mein bhi jate hain koi discover nahi karta ki ye law of gravitation kya hai पेड के नीचे आप भी बैठे हम भी बैठे न्यूटन वाज एक्सेप्शन ही डिस्कवर्ड द लाव ग्रेविटेशन सेम इज द स्टोरी ऑफ पेंसिलिन तीर तुक्के में पेंसिलिन का पता चल गया कि जो भी चीज डाली उस गोल में मर जाती है सेम थिंग हैपिन विद दिसमेरिन कैनियन कैनियन साल एक्चुअली इफ आई एम करेक्ट आई डोंट रिमेंबर द डेट्स इन नाइनटीन on 18th of november there was a earthquake of serious magnitude near the new found land new found land you know it is a very well known figure there was an earthquake here near new found land and the magnitude was high more than 7 this occurred around 2 pm on this date 18th so what happened under water countries with the america
एंड अमेरिका वी विल टू so this time gap between the breakage of the cable lines compelled the people of seismography to find the solution they say whenever the earthquake occurs on the continental shelf there is enough loose material or sediment if you see the ganga delta <laughs> sundarban delta <coughs> in front of the sundarban delta there is very enough unconsolidated unsolidified sediment when the earthquake occurred the sediment which was here is slid down because it shakes like this the material loose material is slid southward and it went downward the more it went downward the more its speed it achieved and ultimately the first cable line was broken immediately second after 12 hours and the third which was farthest it was broken after 24 hours on the basis of this some of the oceanographers and seismologists they said there are turbidity currents the turbidity currents carry the sediment downward if the earth is shaking like this the loose material goes down and there is a snowball effect that's why some of the oceanic submarine or some marine canyons are as deep as 3 km this is the correct explanation some of of you tried to explain it but they said when the wind blows very fast see the logic they gave in their answer i read your answer book though i see it less but i read enough i know some of you read when the wind blow very fast at the pace of 200 km per hour they create uh, some marine canyon very deep is it possible it is illogical absurd you will lose the mass the turbidity current is this phenomena whenever there is a earthquake it shakes the loose material the loose material slide on continental shelf it goes on the continental slope and create these canyons that's why some of the canyons are more than 3 km up to a depth of 3 km there is no chance of roll of wind please try to avoid such blunders so this is actually you can mention and i got one diagram also this is continental shelf this is slope they are in this shape they may be very deep up to the edge of the continental slope give this diagram and write these two concept the glacial cont control concept and the turbidity curve if you want to read more take the help of oceanography by garrison this is a very standard book but unfortunately it is not available in the market you can find this book in ratan tata library in the library of jamia in the library of jnu but all the diagrams are removed by the students of ma cut with the sharp blades kyunki blade se jab kaatte hain awaaz nahi hoti so these books are useless i have seen already 
the diagrams are available give this diagram if possible showing that the some marine carriers are of this shape any more question please you are interested in आपको पढ़ाया जाएगा सेवेंथ अप्रोक्सिमेशन एक दो बच्चों ने बहुत अच्छा लिखा है मैं ये तो नहीं जानता ना मेरे नाम याद है बट दे डिड इट वेरी वेल आई वॉज वेरी हैप्पी टू रीड द आंसर बुक सेवेंथ अप्रोक्सिमेशन इज एक्चुअली द सॉइल क्लासिफिकेशन डेवलप्ड बाई द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर अमेरिका यूएसए इट इज सेवेंथ अप्रोक्सिमेशन बिकॉज इट वॉज रिवाइज सेवन टाइम they developed one soil classification then improved that one it is a complicated but those who are regular students of pragati will be teaching this topic to them and adopted the terminology like oxisol antisol eridisol alpha sol etc etc their distribution and their properties you know in the books it is available in other words it is soil taxonomy soil taxonomy developed by the americans this is american classification of soils rest you can consult any note or book you are relying upon this no need of wasting the time sometimes the paper setter ask time sometimes the paper setter ask a question with a different terminology it will be either soil taxonomy or seventh approximation the question will not be direct give the classification of soil advocated by the american soil scientists next question pardon social relevance of uske ek sentence likh liye jo aapko zarur likhna chahiye rohit land breeze and sea breeze are the results of differential heating differential heating of land and sea this is a very important center if you are at one latitude and partly it is sea and this is land on the same latitude you will you will find a difference in the temperature this is known as differential heating as compared to the water the land will be more warm in the this is known as differential heating second sentence the land breeze and sea breeze are pronounced in the tropical and subtropical countries in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world <coughs> you see in the tropical or torrid zone the differential heating is significant you will not find these winds in the baltic sea or in the atlantic uh, arctic ocean or in higher latitudes because the differential heating is not very significant here the differential heating is very high in lower latitudes in torrid zone in subtropical or tropical zones so this sentence is also very important to highlight now in the day time the land becomes more warm and as a result of more warm there develops a low pressure area on land as compared to sea consequently the wind blows from sea towards land in the day time there develops a low pressure area on land because land is heated more when it is warm the air ascends there cannot be any vacuum air comes from the sea and it descends again here 
the height is more than is not more than 500 meters remember it is a small cycle so it takes this shape warm i showed with orange color and then this cool air is coming from the ocean in the night time the situation changes it is topsy turvy complete reversal of this situation in the night time because of the radiation of heat from the surface the land becomes relatively cool relatively cool means there develops a high pressure area here in comparison to the sea the low pressure is here the wind goes from here to this towards the sea this is known as the sea breeze in few sentences you can explain this and immediately give this diagram in this diagram i want to guide you it is my duty as a teacher of geography that this diagram should be time saving but perfect some of you are saying this is land breeze because it is going towards land this is wrong it is sea breeze the wind is coming from sea that's why labeling should be correct don't be in a hurry if the wind is coming from sea then it is a sea breeze if it is going from land then it is a land breeze and while drawing it don't give so many arrows kuch to itne arrow bana dete 20 30 arrow aise bana diye चीटियां छोटी छोटी सी चल रही हैं। द डायग्राम टेक्स मोर टाइम एंड इट इज वेरी अगली आल्सो कितनी छोटे छोटे एरोज बना दिए हैं कितनी मेहनत की है एंड यू कैन नॉट कम्पीट विद सिंपल डायग्राम इट शोज ओनली थ्री फोर एरोज द साइकिल इज कंप्लीट देर आल्सो थ्री फोर एरोज एंड टू द एक्सेप्शनली एबसर्ड डायग्राम आई चेक इन यूर आंसर बुक्स some of you are showing the sea breeze this sea breeze and is entering into water not only in water it is entering into land and coming out after taking a bath if the drawing is like this don't expect any mark you will get a zero you will repent ke maine sab kuch likha tha number bahut kam hai the examiner knows your geographic sense is zero you deserve a zero उसको चैलेंज नहीं आप कर सकते इज नॉट अवर फादर इन लॉ कोई रियायत नहीं होगी काटेगा कि इसको तो एकदम से रुखसत करो बिकॉज ही इज पुशिंग द एयर इन साइड द अर्थ इसको ये आइडिया नहीं सरफेस पे चलती है सो दिस दिस टू डायग्राम शुड बी केयरफुली ड्रॉन एंड बोथ शुड बी फिनिश इन वन मिनट यू कैन डू इफ यू हैव द प्रैक्टिस इफ यू डोंट हैव द प्रैक्टिस यू विल थिंक and when you think you commit mistake this is also a formula you should have it by heart we have to give this diagram like this one now come to the social relevance that is very important the sea breeze and land breeze regulate the work schedule of the fisherman of the fisherman and the people living along the coastal areas ye aapko to likhe hue hain sab class mein to ye ho gaya hai lekin jo hamari class ke nahi unke liye main bol raha hu so the work schedule of people like fishermen is re regulated by this all the fishermen in the tropical countries i am talking i am not talking about dogger bank or this uh, grand bank etc in tropical latitude the fishermen get up very early in the morning around 2 am at 3 o'clock they go towards the sea 3 am is the time when the air is going from land towards sea land breeze is blowing they save the energy and the fuel they go about 6 7 km inside the water do their work catch the fish by the time of 10 11 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock they have finished their job that is the time when the sea breeze start coming towards the coast they take the advantage of this uh, sea breeze and come back to their places around 1 pm or 2 pm this is their schedule 
after 1 pm pm or 2 2 pm they take their lunch go to bed that is their night the female members carry the fish to the market the people are sleeping this is the actually life cycle of the people who are fishermen it is so one point is that the life of the fishermen in the tropical latitudes is closely controlled by the sea breeze and the land breeze point wise you can see number 2 <coughs> in the tropical latitudes <coughs> the morning period has a scorching heat and people feel lethargic lazy not enjoying doing work in the afternoon in the afternoon after the arrival of sea breeze the weather improves and the efficiency of the people goes up actually the people may be working inside the house in the library in the lab or any indoor activity or they may be working in the field their efficiency goes up because there is a smooth because there is a smooth cool breeze coming from the sea this is another point which you can mention the third point is all researches on sea breeze and land breeze prove that people are more efficient in the afternoon the, this is actually rejoinder of the same point number next point the sea breeze and land breeze are highly beneficial to some cash crops like coconut areca nut jise supari bolte hain bombay wali supari nahi paan mein jo khati banaras wali supari areca nut oil nut etc the best quality of coconut is coming from philippines malabar coast and west indies in these areas the sea breeze is very strong the sea breeze is beneficial for these cash crops and you can stop here if you are writing they give heavy rainfall on western ghats again you are giving absurd answer these winds never give rain they are weak if there is more rainfall on the western ghat that is only during the rainy season not in winter season or any other part the sea breeze and land breeze they blow in that part season also so if you are writing they give more rainfall again you are committing a serious mistake they never give any rainfall but they improve the weather condition the efficiency of the people go up people enjoy at the afternoon as compared to the forenoon in the coastal areas this was the answer or kya puchna hai sir any more question please आप इस डेजर्ट बायम को पढ़ लीजिए कांटेदार झाड़ियां हैं केक्टस है एक्चुअली दे आर थॉर्नी बुशेज ऑन द बुशेज देर में भी व्हाइट थ्रेड्स एक्सेट्रा जस्ट टू चेक द इवो ट्रांसपीरेशन एंड ऑल द एनिमल्स इन द डे टाइम दे आर स्लीपिंग दे आर अंडर सम शेड इन द नाइट दे बिकम वेरी एक्टिव दे आर सेम इज द केस विद द लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल in the day time the desert people rarely work they work in the night time is adaptation food clothing shelter everything is controlled like that so i think i have discussed enough and tomorrow you have to appear in your second test that is human geography and human geography also carries 125 marks minimum you have to attempt 100 because question number 5 will be compulsory plus one question more 
you have to attempt 100 minimum and good students they pick up two questions from that area because everybody is good in part A physical geography you cannot beat each other easily if you are good your rival is also good if you are writing any topic your rival is also very good in that area so the margin of or difference between the marks will not be very much but in the B part human geography some students secure 60 percent some secure 10 percent or 15 percent the main difference come in the part B so we have to be equally good in part B also I don't know what is your actually understanding of the part B human geography I will be knowing only after going through your answer sheets that will be after Sunday tomorrow is your test on human geography please go get yourself ready to come try to appear in the test here in the classroom otherwise it is your choice you can submit from your home also I am bound to evaluate your answer book the only thing which I can assure you that only I will be doing the evaluation you can say some there are rumors in the market that assistants do this job you will be recognizing my handwriting so only I will be doing and there I think will be a long lecture after 10-15 days when I will be meeting you to discuss the second paper because I know the second paper if you are doing that paper here will be going above your head see you next time thank you very much उसको वीरेंद्र को दीजिए आप कह रहे थे टेस्ट सीरीज ज्वाइन करने के लिए करेंगे देखो हमारी ह्यूमन जोग्रेफी में उनसे पूछिए अंकुर तिवारी से ही सो कॉन्फिडेंट कुछ पूछ लीजिए ही विल डू द करेक्ट आंसर नहीं वो क्लास होगी सेकंड वीक ऑफ अगस्त से डायग्राम की साइड देखें आप यहाँ पर अच्छा जो पहले वहाँ बात करें, वैसे अच्छा क्या तुमने और अच्छा कर सकते हो? थोड़ा अपना वजन रिड्यूस करो, हाँ, you are putting up some more weight, है ना? कैसा रहा? अब तुम्हारे सब सवाल ठीक होने चाहिए, तुम्हारे drawing बहुत अच्छी है, impressed, बढ़िया हो जाएगा। वो ही मानते नहीं हैं, बच्चे ज़्यादा लिखते हैं, और 19 आप हम दर से आएं अरे बड़ी दूर से उसका शमीम का कैसा रहा पीटी डाउट है उसकी हार्ड लगे वो ज्योग्राफी उसकी ठीक ठाक है लेकिन उसका पीटी का प्रॉब्लम बहुत है कोई बात नहीं अच्छा अच्छा वो लास्ट टाइम तो उसमें सेकंड पेपर में रह गया था इस बार भी उसी में चांस है क्या हो जाता है थोड़ी एलिमेंट्री क्या ही भाई? मैं पढ़ते हुए लगा दिया होगा मैं इसका मतलब आपने सही लिखा है। It means you are right। I thought कि मुझे भी underline करना है। नहीं नहीं। For us we may it was for my own consumption। वो तो इंग्लिश वालों की समझ में नहीं आया था। जो घर पे जाके डिक्शनरी देख ली या डाउनलोड कर लिया उन्होंने लिखा इसका आंसर। मैं बता रहा हूँ, जिन्होंने यहाँ दिया टेस्ट एक ने भी नहीं लिखा वो। शॉर्ट नोट सबने छोड़ा है, लेकिन जो घर से लिख के जमा किया उन्होंने सबने लिखा है, वो सही लि� वो आप अगर अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम हो तो फोन करके मुझसे बात कराना आपका हिंदी मीडियम तो उससे वीरेंद्र से कहना कि फोन पे मुझे बात करा दे अगर कल के पेपर में है मैं उसका हिंदी इक्विवेलेंट बता दूँ हाँ तो प्लास्टोसीन एज का मैप दीजिए आई शीट कहाँ कहाँ तक फैली हुई थी मैं अब तो हर जगह आया हूँ।
इनका दोष नहीं है इनको गाइड नहीं कर 